uh, Bishop uh, Maurice Makumba Muhathia of the Catholic Diocese of uh, Nakuru, who is the chair of the uh, Higher Education Board in the KCCB. Again with them is uh, Bishop uh, Paul Kariuki of the Catholic Diocese of Embu. Also uh, appearing for the ceremony is Bishop Eduardo from Southern Sudan. We welcome you, especially our viewers from around the world, those who have been part of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa family, those who are graduating this day. Join us for this celebration of the Mass, after which the second part will be the graduation itself convoked in this very hall. We join together with all those who have been uh, able to go through the academic uh, preparations for the last uh, five, four, depending on the uh, program of each one of them. Join us for this part of the Mass, celebration of the Mass. The main celebrant is John Cardinal Jue, the Bishop Emeritus of the Catholic Diocese of Nairobi. Let's pray together.
Chapter 116 in the book of Psalms says, Who shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. We are gathered here to get today this um, uh, historic day with our dear graduates virtually and physically present to lift up the cup of salvation in gratitude. We are going to use the Mass for various occasions, Mass for giving thanks to God. This Holy Mass is animated by the representatives of the graduating class, and uh, their Mass intention is to pray for a soft loading um, as they seek to transform the society. This Mass and uh, the graduation ceremony is going to be followed by the larger population of our university virtually. There are four options, the YouTube through Queer Digital Media Services, Queer Facebook, Caption TV YouTube and Caption TV channel. So in case of any fluctuation on either platform, you can kindly explore the other three options. It's now my humble duty to invite the very reverend father and the vice chancellor to tender the host remarks. Welcome, Father. Your Eminence, John Cardinal Jue, our Pro-Chancellor, Your Excellency, Right Reverend Bishop Morris Muhatia, the Chair of the University Council, Nancy Gadungu, our Chief Guest, the Auditor General of the Republic of Kenya, the, Your Excellencies, the Bishops, members of the University Council, and other members of the University Council present here, the management, the Vice Chancellors, the Principals, and all the other representatives from our universities and the affiliate colleges. My dear brothers and sisters, the priests and the religious, members of the faculty, our students, uh, the representatives of our graduates, and all the distinguished guests with all the protocols observed. Psalm 138 says, in the presence of the angels, I'll bless you, O oh my God. We have come to bless, to praise our God, because of the achievement we have uh, reached uh, today in this confirming of the various certifications for our graduates. We come to give thanks on your behalf and with you and pray that God grants you success in your future endeavors as you continue to work as members of our alumni. It is with these remarks because we are honored to start with the celebration of the Mass, the best sacrifice we can offer to our God. And it is my humble uh, submission to request His Eminence to preside our Mass this morning. Karibu Nisana. Let us clap for them.
sing and make music to the Lord in your hearts, always thanking God the Father for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace, the peace, the peace of Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our dear bishops, our dear fathers, our dear men and women religious present, welcome to this Eucharist celebration. Already the explanation has been given as to why we are here. And uh, <clears throat> coming also with the spirit of thanksgiving for the uh, successes that have been able to take place in this institution and also for those now who are going to graduate today we thank the Lord for them and we, are, we thank them also for the energy that they were able to make in order to come out now as a success and we pray that what they have learned they may be able to carry it back to their destinations and become instrumental in, uh, in making sure that well they utilize them well and uh, through them also the love of God will also be ma uh, manifested in one way or another. On an occasion like this as we come together here with that spirit let us now pause for, for a while and realize that where well, sometimes we have done something that is not right something which is wrong and so that we can ask the Lord then to forgive us and so that we can be able to offer him a worthy sacrifice. Let us now then repent together. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed and Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who always listen mercifully to your servants in distress, we humbly beseech you as we give thanks for your kindness that free from all evil we may constantly serve you in gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Fear not, you beast of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and vine give their full yield. Be glad, O sons of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain the early and the latter rain as before. The threshing floods shall be full of grain. The vat shall overflow with wine and oil. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I, the Lord, am your God and there is none else. And my people shall never again be put to shame. The word of the Lord. The response is some. The response is Buana Ali Tutendea Mambo Maku. 
Bwana alitutendea mambo makuu. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, 
there is great gain in godliness with contentment. For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with these we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and hurtful desires that plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all evils. It is through this craving that some have wandered away from the faith and pierced their hearts with many pangs. But as for you, man of God, shun all these. Aim at righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. As, as for the rich in this world, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on uncertain riches, but on God, who richly furnishes us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good deeds, liberal and generous, thus laying up for themselves a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of their life, which is life indeed. The word of the Lord. Kindly arise for the gospel acclamation. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered the village, he was met by ten lepers, who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then said Jesus, We are not ten cleansed. Where are the nine? Was, not, was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord.
my dear brothers and sisters devastation and experiences of catastrophe can carry with them a lot of uncertainty anguish pain and many other negative feelings and when somebody in that kind of situation gives a message of hope when a silver lining appears on a cloud that has been dark for a very long time it brings a sigh of relief and this is more or less the situation we find in the first reading of today from the prophet Joel the community of the people of God have been faced or are faced with a catastrophe that has devastated the land, the beasts, the plants, and by extension has devastated their own lives. It has brought in their lives uncertainty. They are anguished they are in pain it's as if their life has come to an end and there's no hope it is at this time that the prophet joel arises and proclaims a message of hope for the people of israel he tells them fear not land though you have been devastated do not be afraid beasts though your first difficult times and by extension the children of Zion do not be afraid on the contrary he invites them to praise the Lord because there is hope of recovery the time for their vindication has come it turns out from the message of the prophet Joel even though the people of God have gone through difficult times that was just for a moment there was a higher prize coming and this higher prize was the glorification of God the glory of the God of Israel because after all these troubles and all these problems the time of happiness and joy is coming the message of the prophet Joel is the joy of the human person is the glory of God and the joy of the people of Israel constitutes the glorification of God after the devastation they have been through after the catastrophic moments they have experienced the graduating students of this university around this time have had to do some of their studies part of their studies during a, a two very difficult years under a shadow of what has been described as a pandemic and to a certain extent you also are filled with moments of uncertainty are we going to graduate or will not graduate shall we sit our exams or we will not they have been very challenging two years the last two years and you have shared in a certain way in a very special way in the uncertainty of the world because of your own education and your own studies you almost find yourselves in a situation similar to that of the people of Israel at the time of Joel it's a lot of darkness then out of the darkness there appears a moment like this the prophet told them and the prophet is telling you do not be afraid yes there may have been devastation there may have been a pandemic there may have been difficult moments but the time has come for you to fear not to begin to rejoice but the rejoicing of the human person is for the purpose of the glorification of God that means human joy is incomplete until it arrives at the feet of God this is the powerful message of the prophet Joel to the people of Israel it is also the powerful message 
of the prophet Joel to us today. It is good to be happy, but happy for what purpose? It is good to be successful, but successful for what purpose? It is good to graduate, but graduate for what purpose? The prophet is saying that happiness, that success, that graduation is fully successful when it arrives at the moment of joining in with the glorification of God. And I think the existence, the very existence of this university in this country and in this region is for that purpose. That people who go through this institution are formed, are educated, and they leave the doors and the gates of this university, not just learned, but people who are properly and holistically formed to encounter the world and carry forward the knowledge they have received for the purpose of the glorification of God. Human joy remains forever incomplete until it flows into the glorification of God. The same message is repeated in the gospel reading of today. Look at these ten lepers. There is nothing bad about something. There is nothing worse like being religiously and socially ostracized. Religious and social ostracization is one of the worst experiences any human being can pass through. And these ten lepers, by virtue of being lepers, were kept away. They lived in isolation, away from the rest of everybody. They could not participate in social activities, in the religious activities. Their life was a devastation. We can say their life was a catastrophe. They were living their life under some kind of a serious pandemic that prohibited them from enjoying the normal life of the dignity of the human person. And then the year of this man of Galilee, the year of Jesus, and they grabbed the opportunity to come out of their isolation, to receive wellness again. And they come and they plead with him, Master, get us out of our isolation. Let us have our wellness again. Let us be healthy again. Give us a reason for existence once more. And he tells them, by way of instruction, go and show yourself to the priest. Because the priest had to ascertain whether a person was infected with a disease like this and therefore to go into isolation or a person had been cured of this kind of disease, they have had to be reinserted back into society. And as they begin moving to go and in obedience to Jesus, to the priest, on the way we are told they are cleansed. You can imagine the feeling. You have been isolated from society for so many years. You can't encounter anybody. You can't have interactions. Your spiritual life cannot be fulfilled because you can't do it completely in isolation. Then all of a sudden, you come to realize the time for insertion in society has come. You are overwhelmed with joy. What happens? Almost instinctively, you want to run back home and announce the message to your family and friends. Look, I was isolated. Here I am. I am well again. I am cleansed. This must be the situation with these other nine. Sometimes you can be very hard on them, but they were very happy. These guys have been in isolation. These guys were ostracized. They come to realize all of a sudden they are coming back for integration in society. And they run off to go and show off how happy they are. They were overwhelmed by joy. Unfortunately, they were just overwhelmed by joy, but their joy could forever remain incomplete until they completed the last mile. So they went off, but one realized that in spite of the joy and the happiness, he had to come back to complete the last mile. So he comes back to Jesus, happy and joyful, and kneels before him. 
At that point, we begin to get the message of revelation from Jesus Christ. Who are ten not cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was there no one to come and glorify God except this foreigner? This marginalized man previously? This Samaritan? Then Jesus perhaps tells him the most important thing. Go. Your faith has healed you. Go. Your faith has saved you. They had been cleansed, but not yet saved or completely healed. They had received their physical holiness, but there was something deeper that was about to happen to the last person that was supposed to happen to the rest. They had been given the opportunity to complete the last mile, and all of us have the opportunity always to complete the last mile. This Samaritan came. He came back to Jesus Christ. His dignity as a human person had flowered once more because of the cleansing he had received from Jesus Christ. So he comes back to Jesus, prostrates before him, and gives thanks to God. And Jesus says, was there nobody to come and give praise to God? Give glory to God. The joy of the human person is for the glorification of God. The cleansing of the human person is for the glorification of God. And this is what the Samaritan has done. The journey is not yet complete because human joy and human happiness is not self-sufficient. It's not self-sustaining. Human happiness is sustained by the glory of God. So this Samaritan comes and completes that last part by giving glory to God. And because of that, he receives a double healing. Not just the cleansing of the body, he receives also the healing of the spirit. Integral human healing. This is what Jesus carries for the whole world. This is what the Messiah in Jesus Christ portents for us who come to him with our iniquity, with our frailty, with our weakness, with our problems, with our burden of sin. Master, heal us, cleanse us. The journey of a student through university education, or education for that matter, is a, a journey towards wholeness. The journey through education is a journey towards wellness. It is one way by the human person to search for fulfillment, to search for self-realization. And in searching for self-realization, there is eventually realization of the community from which the person comes, the society at large. The time you have been in the university, the time you have been in the Catholic university, has, a has been a time in search of wellness. Using different words, not exactly the, the words like this, of these lepers here, because all of us actually are, you have been asking God to make you well again through gaining education. You become wise to live human life to its fullness. And human life to its fullness is impossible without the glorification of God. As you graduate today, we need to borrow a leaf from this Samaritan in the gospel reading of today. He was cleansed, yes. You are graduating today, it can be compared to the cleansing of these lepers. But beyond the cleansing and beyond the graduation, you need to do something more. You need to seek not just the physical healing and the physical wellness, you need even more to seek the spiritual wellness, yours and that of the people you are going to encounter. And that is going to be your contribution to society. And I pray and hope that that is what the Catholic University of Eastern Africa has done to you. That is what the Catholic University of Eastern Africa is meant to do to the students who go through this great university. That they are so transformed that they receive wellness. They have an experience.
experience of the dignity of the human person in such a way that they are filled with so much joy that their joy flows into the glorification of God and by doing so they go out to share their joy with other people and transform them because they themselves have been transformed. Today is a momentous day for quite a number of you, the day of graduation. Those of you who are here physically and those who are following us virtually, we are proud of you. And we pray you go and help our society to become a better place again. You are becoming well. You are receiving wellness through the process of education. St. Timothy, or rather St. Paul, in the second reading of today, sounds a warning when he is giving instructions to Timothy. Tells him, you have been gifted, you have so many good things going for you, but be careful for yourself and for the people you encounter, be careful about riches. Because people, because of love and the drive and the desire and the greed to acquire wealth, have led themselves to destruction. Then he adds and says, for love of money is the root of all evil. Love of money in the sense of being greedy for money. And it's true. If you are greedy for money, there is almost no evil that you are exposed to doing. That is the meaning of this. When the person is so full of acquiring health, wealth by hook or by crook, the greed is overwhelmed by the greed to do these things. The attraction for wealth and money can lead you to doing almost everything and anything. And this is the warning St. Paul is sounding, warning Timothy and those he's going to encounter but I believe it is a powerful message as well for the graduating class of this year, the graduates of this year. You have been formed, you have been educated, now you are moving into the next level, to the next level. You are moving to go and now begin doing things to contribute to society. Beware of these evils mentioned by St. Paul in the second reading. Remember, Christ, God has made you well, not just physically, but has given you the inspiration to understand even spiritual matters. Don't be led astray by the attraction of wealth and riches and money as you reinsert yourselves in society. Go and help transform our Kenyan society. Don't become part of the statistics of corruption, of theft, of public wealth, of doing things that previously used to be only imaginable, but today almost everything seems to be permissible. Can you take the challenge of being people of integrity to contribute positively to our society today without falling into these evils? Is there anybody still that we can call is really patriotic? can say no to corruption, no to discrimination, no to tribalism, no to negative nationalism. Are we prepared for that? Has your education as you graduate today prepared you for this? Are you prepared to cross the social boundaries? Are you prepared to cross religious boundaries to embrace the human race? Are you prepared to reduce isolationism in the world? To bring people under the same umbrella of the cover of the people of God? This is the invitation you receive today. The Lord is inviting all of us. And he's saying, look, Christ gives us back our dignity. And he wants us to be happy. And it is good to be happy. But our happiness will forever remain incomplete until it flows like a river into the glorification of God. Likewise to our graduates of today. We are happy with you. We are happy for you. And indeed rejoice today because it's a great day. But your happiness must flow 
into the glorification of God with your mouth, with your actions, and indeed with your life. We have all gathered here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let us therefore ask the Almighty God that um, the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessings and life. prayers for Universal Church. Look with favor and mercy on all our shepherds, especially within the Messiah region. May all the Christ faithful collaborate with them in the establishment of kingdom here on earth. Watch and guide the trustees, the members of the University Council, the top management, that their leadership and commitment may secure our university's fidelity to her mission. Lord, hear us. Lord, Prayers for civil leaders. We lift our civil leaders unto you. We strengthen them with wisdom and grace that they may provide the much needed superintendency and facilitate the establishment of a just society. May they manage their duties with utmost diligence. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. This we pray to the Lord. Prayer for the graduates. Prayer for the graduates that with immense gratitude to you, O Lord, for the graces and favors received during their period of study, may they proceed to become transformative leaders for the church and the society. We remember Christabel Kariuki, who was to graduate today but lies in ICU, that the good Lord may grant her quick recovery. This we pray to the Lord. 
Prayer for the family and the needy. May you fill our families with joyful hope, courage, and boldness to love one another. Protect them from all forms of harm and disillusionment. Be always close to them at their point of dire need. May they be at your back and call. May all the needy people find divine consolation from you and support from their neighbors. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the faithful departed, we commend the souls of our faithful departed, especially Dr. Solomon Okumu, Mr. Barnabas Gikonyo, Professor Harriet Wambui, Reverend Professor Gishure, who have died recently. May their great service to our university merit them eternal life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us now place all those petitions and all the others in our hearts in the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary, who is always a symbol of fidelity. From when she knew the will of God, she received it and lived it and never turned back when things were difficult or even easy. Let us ask her to pray for us that we too, who are on a journey, we may remain firm and faithful to our agreement with the Lord. Hail Mary, for our grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that we are worthy. Accept, Lord God, these petitions that we present to you. And we ask you to grant us a positive answer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, Accept, we pray, in a mercy this sacrifice, which we offer you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress through Christ our Lord.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as uh, uh, through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with a great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right mm, that all your creatures serve you all the uh, redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in a joyful celebration we now acclaim indeed holy O Lord <clears throat> and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit 
graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he, took, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Hilene fumbala imani Christo ale bufa Christo ale bufa Christo ala imani Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate in the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he, may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, and our Archbishop elect Philip, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Mm. 
listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to you yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and their unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace. The peace. The peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Well, that's of each other a sign of peace. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ. Peace of Christ.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Dominus, Jesus Christ, Custodia, Nos, and Vita Materna.
How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The chalice of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants from the bond of sin and in your compassion to restore their strength grant us the to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. God is good and all the time in the name of the Vice Chancellor and our Rector I delightedly express our univocal appreciations to His Eminence for breaking the bread of life for us and uh, Bishop Morris, the University Council Chair, for breaking the Word of God for us. We congratulate the class of 2021 and uh, we join in to celebrate with them their resilience and uh, hard work. From the chaplaincy department, quite exceptionally, we thank uh, our Holy Trinity Choir for their edifying uh, commitment. Uh, they have been doing uh, their rehearsals uh, for the last three weeks. At times, they had to sacrifice their time over the weekends to prepare for this day. For those who have been in choir for some time, you can uh, recall how previously it was difficult, how difficult it was to um, kind of uh, uh, get students uh, willing to animate our liturgies. But today, we are glad that. Uh, um, we have a very committed uh, team uh, that uh, whenever we call them, they are readily available. I am told quite reliably that on, their, on the choir's uh, WhatsApp platform, uh, they have a category of members that they call ancestors. So ancestors, I can imagine, are people like Jeremiah Oliech, the organist, people like Ruth Wamalabe, people like Susan, people like... Uh, um, I don't know where the, where the others are. Those who worked very hard at the beginning to uh, kind of uh, uh, talk with their friends and have them register as choir members. So as they graduate, I'm sure you are going home with your uh, heads high, seeing the fruits of your good work. So we celebrate you uh, for having uh, made this choir become a reality. In fact, I, those who are new to the universe, this university, you must have noted that some of the hymns were in Latin. You know, and Latin is one of the, actually is the mother of what you call the Indo-European languages. You can only fight Latin in choir, not anywhere else in this republic. We thank our mass servers, the seminarians, the liturgical dancers, and uh, the graduating class under the coordination of uh, uh, Jeremiah for animating our mass today. In a special way, we thank our rector and vice chancellor together with the top managers of the university for having facilitated the purchase of our new, new altar and uh, the new lectern. Um, as you know, the university uh, does not just spend a coin without a good reason. So uh, we had to really convince them that uh, we need a new altar and, uh, of course, knowing that we are a Catholic university, that was an uphill task. They uh, readily accepted to facilitate its purchase. So we truly appreciate uh, your assistance in the chaplaincy department and especially uh, helping us to serve uh, the community better. Uh, I wish in a very special way thank one of our priests who is also graduating, graduating today and I wish to request Father James, Father James to be up studying from Christ the King Parish with right. Yes, here he is. Give him one clap. I, I, I doubt if you know why you have clapped for him. But the reason is Father James is one of our alumni. He did his uh, bachelor's uh, in secret theology here. He graduated a decade ago and uh, he came back and uh, today he's graduating uh, with masters. Uh, Father is a parish priest of Christ the King Parish in Gate Rai, and according to the demographic statistics, is the most populated parish in the Archdiocese of uh, Nairobi. Father has been very supportive to the chaplaincy. Uh, a week ago, he sent a pickup full of uh, food staff for our students, our needy students. So those who have been benefiting from uh, these food staffs, now you can see one 
of your benefactors who has made your life at the campus uh, very convenient. And uh, for the graduating class, uh, those physically present and those following us virtually, uh, please, this is the way to go. As we have heard from the gospel, 10 were healed, one came um, to express his uh, gratitude. So we are asking you and supplicating you that um, as you go into the professional world, remember queer in your kingdom, as Father uh, James has been remembering us and supporting us. We, of course, have been receiving some uh, similar support from uh, Don Bosco, Shrine Upper Hill, and of course, St. James Rironi Parish. So we uh, appreciate these parishes for their support. It is now my pleasure to invite the graduation ceremonies master of ceremony to let us know what happens next. Thank you very much. Principal celebrant, His Eminence, the Cardinal, and my Lord Bishop, the con celebrant for this uh, 40th graduation ceremony, Thanksgiving Mass, all the clergy, our guest of honor, all protocols observed, God is good, and all the time, uh, we want to give God a big round of applause for enabling us to have a wonderful Thanksgiving Mass. Let us appreciate him for the opportunity. As you're aware, we are now going to transit to the next session, uh, which is the graduation ceremony itself. And we have 15 minutes to do that transition. So we would want to request that um, as the clergy uh, moves on to unvest and uh, the high table gown that the rest of us we remain calm in the hall so that we are able to transit as fast as possible and um, as we do that we shall have the dias rearranged so that will also be happening immediately as the clergy moves out and uh, we also want to request that um, the doctoral graduates who are here with us, we had requested that uh, in honor of God for this Mass, we don't have the academic gowns, so you'll have an opportunity to wear your academic gowns and occupy the central uh, row, the front seats, uh, because that is your place. We want to make a request to the choir to be on standby because for the 15 minutes uh, or less we shall have the choir do entertainment, both the recorded songs playing from the control room as you arrange yourself to do the live performance. I would also want to make a request to the solo performer, uh, Mr. Bonface Gidaiga, to also be on standby so that within that 15 minutes we don't have any uh, wastage of time and uh, we go straight into the entertainment as soon as the clergy leaves out. Now, after the 15 minutes or less, we shall have the academic uh, procession ensuing. And as we have the academic procession coming back to the graduation square, uh, we shall be expected to stand in honor of that, and as we stand, we shall remain uh, in that standing mode until the graduation, uh, the academic procession uh, reaches the dais, um, and then we shall have, um, we, sh we, sh we shall remain standing uh, until we have the national anthem. Uh, the choir will be leading the national anthem, both the three verses as well as the East African anthem. So again, be on standby for that. 
We shall then have the university chaplain lead us with the opening prayer. We shall still be standing at that time. And then we shall have the academic registrar uh, read the extracts from the statutes. And thereafter, we shall have the pro-chancellor um, constitute the 40th graduation ceremony of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. It is only thereafter that we shall be able to sit. So in honor of that process, I request that we remain obedient uh, as we move on to that session. My name is Miriam Chege. I head communications and international relations here at CREA. And um, the main MC for this event is Father Crispin Ouma, who will be taking over as soon as the academic uh, procession uh, starts. Thank you, and may God bless you. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He let His face shine upon you and show you his mercy. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Come down upon you and remain with you forever. Stay in peace, the Mars is ended. Nibara. Canto kakwa mungu Kweli, kweli ni baraka Kweli ni baraka Kanto kakwa mungu Kweli, kweli ni baraka Nasi kuya leheo ni baraka
Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Na pia niwashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Kapuchin TV ile support tunapatia Kapuchin TV ni muhimu sana kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu na ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity this friday 29th october all roads lead to the catholic university of eastern africa in karen nairobi the Catholic University of Eastern Africa will hold its 40th congregation for the conferment of degrees and award of diplomas by the Chancellor, Right Reverend Charles Kasonde, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Soluenzi in Zambia. The graduation ceremony will be done virtually starting from 8 a.m.
You can follow this event live here on Capuchin TV and on our social media networks. The theme for this year graduation is Education for Actualizing Life's Purpose and Global Citizenship. The guest of honor will be Madam Nancy Gathungu, CBS Auditor General of the Republic of Kenya. This year, close to 3,000 graduates will graduate both from the university itself as well as its constituent and athlete colleges from the Amisea region. Capuchin TV congratulates the Catholic University of Eastern Africa family and this year's graduates. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity, is proud to be associated with you. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa Mark chapter 8 verse 21 Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 to 45 We have a short story about Doreen and Barney. I'm going to follow Jesus so, so that I can spend with him time. How about you? Tune in every day at 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Only on Capuchin TV. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa St. Francis Community Hospital Kasarani is a level 5 teaching and referral hospital that was founded in the spirit of St. Francis of Assisi in order to give special attention to the poor and needy by attending to their spiritual, economic, human and intellectual needs. We embrace the mission of the Little Sisters which enforces us to reach out with the compassion to the marginalized in the spirit of St. Francis of Assisi and our foundress, Mother Kevin. This is clearly reflected in the manner in which St. Francis Community Hospital staff delivers their services to their patients. The hospital is running the charism of Little Sisters of St. Francis with the aim of reaching out to the needy and the marginalized, showing compassion of Christ. The hospital is run with the charism of the Little Sisters of St. Francis, which is to bring newness and fullness of Christ's life in the world today, which is the gift of compassion for the marginalized. The care that we give to the patients, you know, is very important, and we give that service with our humbleness, with our humility. I think. That is what St. Francis is calling us, even today, to do. The hospital has grown drastically since its inception and now has become a preferred health facility within the Kasarani community and beyond. The institution has rapidly grown from a simple dispensary to a level five, a teaching and referral hospital, bringing uh, service, services closer to the people has necessitated the congregation of the Ritual Sisters of St. Francis to expand the hospital and to equip it with the necessary equipment. The hospital staffs and specialists operate keenly, serving with honesty, integrity, professionalism, commitment, fairness, and work as a team. Our goal of service to humanity is guided by our strategic plan which is focused on strengthening health systems for the delivery of both basic and specialized health packages while dealing with quality determinants of health which are 
aiming at improving our quality of the patient clinic services, expanding the scope and improving the quality of inpatient care services, improving the quality of clinical diagnostic services, and strengthening our health system to respond to the quality service delivery needs. On 14 October this year, St. Francis Community opened an accident and emergency new wing, which was blessed and graced by Right Reverend Joseph Mbatia, the Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Nyahururu. I'm also privileged and honored uh, to be part of the launching of the casualty, or rather the emergency unit uh, of the hospital. This new facility will help to speed up the treatment for emergency cases. That is also very important. It is in this same accident and emergency that we have managed patients who have been shot, who are on the brink of death. We have managed patients who have been stabbed. We have specialist machines which actually draw the patient's own blood, recirculate it and be able to give it back to them without needing blood from other people. St. Francis is a level 5 hospital and it offers a cascade of services. Thus, we have medical outpatient clinic which entails hypertensive, diabetic, cardiology, and nephrology clinics. Surgical clinic, we have general surgery, orthopedics, neurosurgery, ENT, endoscopy procedures, and pediatric surgery. Pediatrics and child care clinics, obstetrics and gynecology clinics, ophthalmology, psychiatry, specialized laboratory services, emergency and accident, and critical care services. For more information, call us on 0713-969-608 or 0741-689-983 or email us at info at stfranciscospital.or.ke or admin at stfranciscospital.or.ke Write to us on St. Francis Community Hospital, hyphen Nairobi, P.O. Box 62676, Nairobi, Kenya. Motto of the hospital says, we treat God heals. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki. Are you in need of a competitive, personal, business or institutional insurance cover? Look no further. Purchase Insurance has got you covered for both individual and group contingencies. From the time you take your policy, in case you have a claim, we are able to walk the journey with you and we are able to create a customer experience that you're able to come back. I am a happy client of Purchase Insurance Company for over a period of seven years. Purchase Insurance offered us a lasting solution to our medical issues and medical problems. With Purchase Insurance, you do not need to search elsewhere. We have competitively comprehensive insurance products that meet every personal, business and institutional needs. We have plans that address the corporate organizations and groups targeting the religious groups and other registered groups. We also have plans for the retail market which covers families or individuals. 
Uh, for general covers, we have classified them into two different lines. We have the personal lines and the corporate lines. Uh, we pride ourselves because uh, we are owned by institutions and not individuals. Mm -hmm. We are owned by uh, the various institutions of the Catholic uh, Church, uh, including the archdioceses, mm -hmm. the dioceses. We have the RSEK. We have the Association of Sisterhoods of Kenya and also the institutions that are affiliated to the Catholic Church. This brings the uniqueness in us in that any profits, any proceedings we make through the operations we run as a company are plowed back to the church to help with the different projects the church has. I would recommend parties to any other person who is looking for these services. We have direct lines we call, people who are available for us 24-7. And so it doesn't matter the time, the day, the hour, we are, we are met, or rather our expectations are met. We serve the society at large. Among our customers are individuals, and uh, we have institutions and groups, and we have various products for the various uh, categories. Then we have uh, government, we also uh, uh, serve government and parastatals. So it's not that, that we are biased to the Catholic fraternity only, we are open to the society at large. Visit our head office at Pachi Center located along Wayakiwe in Westlands for details about our products. We have the best products uh, within the insurance uh, space. You can walk into our head office or any of our branches because our branches are uh, in the major uh, towns. And uh, also you can reach us through 0730-677-000 or 0720-113-122. Send us an email on info at patchiskenya.com. Our health, our wealth, and our reputation are protected, and we have a lot of peace and comfort to know that we are covered wherever we are. Patches is a Latin word that stands for peace. For comfort and peace in life. Choose Patches Insurance Company. We protect your health, wealth, and reputation for comfort and peace to society. Sacramenti ni nini? Na misingi yake iko wapi katika Biblia takatifu? Wavijua vipindi vya kanisa katoliki ni alama na vyombo gani vinavyotumika katika maadhimisho ya ibada zetu? Ungana nasi kila siku ya Jumanne saa moja na nusu jioni katika kipindi cha Sakramenti na Biblia. Ni kutoka hapa Capuchin TV tukiikuza imani katoliki kwa pamoja. Mpendwa muhumini, tumsifu Yesu Kristu, milele na milele amina. Baada ya ziara yetu ya uinjilishaji kande ya magharibi mwa hinji, katika jimbo katoliki la Kakamega na jimbo katoliki la Bungoma, Kapuchin TV, tunaelekea bonde la Ufa. Tunatembea tena kwenye jimbo katoliki la Kericho, mara hii Wenyeji wetu ni waumini ya parokia mtakatifu Mikaheli, malaika mkuu eneo la Bomet mjini. Kumwaliko wa baba paroko Padre Valives Mahola, tutaendilisha na kusali pamoja kama ifuatavyo. Jumamosi tare thelathini, misa ya saa kuminambili asubui. Baadae, Jumamosi saa hine asubui Misa takatifu na kisakramendi ya ubatizo kwa wanafunzi wa shule ya upili ya St. Mary's Jumamosi saa kumi jioni Ibada ya kuabudu ekaristia takatifu Na baadae misa takatifu saa kumi na moja jioni Pamoja na wanafunzi wa shule ya Ekla Academy Utaratibu wa misa za jumapili ya deladhina moja ni kama ifuatavyo Misa ya kwanza Saa kumi na moja na nusu alfajiri Misa ya pili Saa moja na nusu asubui Misa ya tatu Saa tatu asubui 
misa ya nne saa tano asubuhi Kapuchin TV kwa karimu na mchango wako injili inasonga mbele habari njema inatangazwa kutoka pa za mitambo yetu endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki St. Joseph and Anthony Center located in Karen, Nairobi, off Bogani East Road is a pleasant haven for accommodation and graduation reception. This modern accommodation facility is approximately 500 meters from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and just a walking distance from Jaquat Karen, Tangaza University College and the Kenya School of Law. Reap the most benefit from our self-contained rooms with hot shower reliable internet connectivity, DSTV, and steady security services, including 24-hour CCTV surveillance. We also offer reliable clean water supply, power backup, and fresh farm produce from our garden. For more information, visit our website at www.stsjnacenter.com or contact us on 0731049496 or 0725254445 or send an email to info at stsjnacenter.com. At St. Joseph and Anthony Ladies Hostel, we guarantee a secured environment with an aura of serenity for a peaceful stay and a chapel for personal prayers and meditations. St. Joseph and Anthony Ladies Hostel is a true home away from home. Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Bishop Nicholas Tam Pastoral and Animation Center located in Kakamega County offers you an alluring atmosphere for special occasions. The center is ideal for spiritual retreats and recollections, prayer sessions, workshops, 
conferences, general meetings and trainings. We also offer event venue for weddings, galas and other similar outdoor activities. Delight in the peaceful ambience of our naturally serene environment with a cool, fresh breeze and free Wi-Fi to keep you connected to the rest of the world. We offer a variety of local cuisines and buffets. Try out our amazing facilities and services today. Visit us along Kakamega Webuye Road, only 5 kilometers from Kakamega Town. For inquiries and bookings, contact us on 07. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki.
we request of the graduates who should be inside to come into the graduation hall. We are starting, we shall not allow anybody to come in when the ceremony starts. Those graduates who are outside kindly come in. We are almost starting the procession. The graduates who are still outside kindly come in. The academic procession is almost starting. The academic procession is almost starting. And as the procession will be coming in, we are all expected to, up, to be upstanding in honor of that academic procession. The procession will come in led by the academic registrar with the university mess. The academic team will come good in. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning Chancellor's from wherever team. you are watching us from, live from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa in Karen, Nairobi. Today, the 29th day in the month of October, the 40th graduation, already the first part of the ceremony has been done. The celebration of the Eucharistic, uh, Eucharist, uh, the ceremony was outside, uh, kindly, John Cardinal Dewey, who is uh, the Archbishop Emeritus of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, together with other celebrants, among whom was uh, the homilist of the day, Bishop Maurice Mohatia Makumba of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, who is also the chair of the higher education in the Catholic University, together with uh, Bishop Paul Kariuki from the Catholic Diocese of Embu, as well as representatives from the dioceses of uh, uh, in uh, Mozambique and uh, uh, South Sudan. Remember, the chancellor of this uh, institution is uh, uh, Right Reverend uh, uh, Bishop from the Catholic Diocese of Solwezi. We are waiting for the second part of this celebration, having heard some entertainments from the choir. Remember that uh, there are close to 3,000 graduates in this uh, uh, academic year 2020 class. And uh, we thank God for those who have been able to um, complete their studies after uh, quite as, uh, challenging times, whereby most of our activities were interrupted. We thank all those who, again, have been able to support those graduates, the families, and relatives of those who are there, the joy of having, ha having had to, uh, uh, to put on the gown usually goes a long way in the lives of those who are involved. And uh, from here, they're going to search for uh, employment or self-employment. This is the market that uh, the uh, Catholic education uh, worldwide uh, is, uh, has been able to be following from time immemorial. The Catholic Church together uh, in the evangelization field encompasses uh, education, health, and uh, uh, religious uh, life. And so we thank uh, those who are in charge of this uh, uh, institution. Remember, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa uh, involves uh, member countries of the Amesea region, that is the eastern central, of course, with the Southern Africa uh, countries as far as uh, uh, South Africa, uh, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Zambia, uh, all the way to the whole Ladies of Africa. And, and so we are just about to begin the second part of the graduation. Is coming academic in. procession is just standing. getting in. We ask you to join us for this uh, and we second part as we congratulate these and uh, their families. Remember the that we are live from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa Auditorium. And now for the second session of this uh, 40th graduation, graduation welcome ceremony. you, especially our viewers Academic from around the world, Capuchin TV, we are uh, Catholic Identity, Reverend Catholic Broadcasting Ministry, ran by the Franciscan Capuchin uh, Brothers here in Kenya. Please Join us for this event, the and uh, may God bless you. And it's only presented in official sanctioned proceedings as an ancient symbol of authority.
learning process has, has not always been very comfortable and has not been very easy. The following are in this academic procession. After the university registrar, we have the full academic, who are in the full academic regalia, we have the academic leaders, the academic leader party teams, the party, the deans, directors, principals, and the DVC, the signet of the constituent colleges. This party is also led by the university chaplain and the director of examinations and timetabling, representing the two aspects of the professional training and the formation and development of students at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Finally, we have the Chancellor's Party. We have the Special Advisor to the Vice-Chancellor. We have the DVC Academic Affairs and, the research, and Research. We also have the members of the University Council. We have the Chair of the Council, the Guest of Honor, and the Pro-Chancellor in that order. This year, for the 40th graduation ceremony, the procession is a solemn symphonic repetua, composition of Johannes Chrysostomus Wolfgangus Theophilus Mozart, a prophetic and influential composer of the classical period. We welcome this dignified procession of the university officials.
I now have the pleasure to invite the university chaplain, Reverend Dr. Boniface Mungai, to lead us in the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, and without end. Amen. God, our Father, Looking back to the past, our hearts remain saturated with immense gratitude for your innumerable graces by us received. Looking into the future, our hope burns brighter as we entrust ourselves to your ineffable providence. May our graduating class endeavor to discern your divine will at every moment of their lives. May they become a blessing to their parents and persons whose efforts have made this day and ceremony possible. May you generously provide them with their daily bread. At their moment of spiritual privation and lack, may they experience your infinite mercy. May they grow from knowledge to knowledge, wisdom to wisdom, and from grace to grace. May you deliver them from all forms of harm. May you consecrate each one of them in the truth. May St. Joseph, the worker and protector, intercede for them today and always. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Pray. Amen. Our Lady, seat of wisdom. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, the University Chaplain. Let us still remain upstanding. Allow me now to invite the University Academic Registrar, Reverend Professor Fabian Lonema, to read the extract from the University Charter and thereafter to invite His Eminence John Cardinal Jue, the University Pro Chancellor, to constitute the 40th, 40th Congregation for the graduation ceremony of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Subject to the Charter of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, the Universities Act 2012, and to the Apostolic Constitutions Veritatis Gaudium and Ex Corde Ecclesiae, the University may, in the name of the Supreme Pontiff, or Sede Vacante the Holy See, confer the degrees of doctor, masters, and bachelor, and such other degree as may be provided for in the statutes, and award diploma, certificate, and other awards. I ask His Eminence, John Cardinal Njue, to constitute the 40th Congregation of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. <coughs> By virtue of the, uh, of the power vested in me by the University Council, I constitute this assembly the 40th Congregation of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. 
Let us give round of applause. Thank you, thank you. You can now take your seats. At this moment, I would now wish to invite our university liturgical dancers to give us a piece of entertainment before we start the, the first part. The liturgical dancers, please.
big round of applause for that wonderful and beautiful performance for our young liturgical dancers. Thank you very much and thanks for that presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin with now the protocols. The University Chancellor in absentia is Excellency, His Excellency Right Reverend Charles Joseph Sampaka Sonde, the Chancellor, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, and the Chairman of the Amesea, and the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Zolwezi, Zambia, the University Pro Chancellor, and the member of the University Board of Trustees, His Eminence John Cardinal Jue and the Archbishop Emeritus of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, our guest of honor, the Auditor General of the Republic of Kenya, Ms. Nancy Gatugu, the University Council Chairman, Right Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makumba, and the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, Bishop, Bishops present, members of the University Council present, Secretary General Amesea, Very Reverend Dr. Anthony Makunde, the Very Reverend Professor Stephen Bugwangari, Rector and the Vice Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, the DVC Academic Affairs and Research, Mrs. Professor Rachel Kemunto Gesami, the Special Advisor to the Vice Chancellor in Charge of Administration finance, strategy, and planning, Mr. James Theory, the University Academic Registrar, Reverend Professor Fabian Lonema, the Vice Chancellor Designate Tangaza University College, principals, rectors, and directors of constituent and affiliate colleges, heads of departments, deans, and directors of university faculties, schools, institutes, and centers of our and that of our GABA campus Eldoret, our distinguished guests present, the members of the University Management Board, our lecturers, university staff and students, all the 2021 graduates who are our special guests today, parents, guardians, sponsors, and friends of queer, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 40th graduation ceremony of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Welcome to you all. Tunawakaribisha nini nyote katika shereze tu za kufuzu mwaka huu wa ilufumbili na ishirina moja. Bienvenu a tous. Tudos bienvenidos. Benvenuti a tutti. We wish to let you know that this event is aired live on the Catholic University of Eastern Africa YouTube and Facebook channels, as well as the Capuchin TV and Capuchin Facebook and YouTube. In this regard, allow me in a very special way to welcome our 2,814 graduates of the year 2021, of whom, most of whom are following this event virtually together with their parents, guardians, spouses, siblings, sponsors, and friends. Let us all appreciate our graduates who are following us virtually by a round of applause. Thank you very much. I would now wish to welcome the alumni representative Ms. Ruth Ogutu, the Secretary of the Queer Alumni Association, to come and give her speech. Good morning, everyone. I will also observe protocol by acknowledging your, your Eminence John Kandonjue, the Pro-Chancellor of this prestigious university, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, 
CPA Nancy Gathungu, CBS, the Auditor General of Kenya, Your Lordship Bishop Maurice Muhatia Makumba, University Council Chairman of uh, Kwea, Your Lordships, University Council Members, Students of Kwea, distinguished guests, presence is very much honored here and once more I'd say good morning to you. From the introduction as you've heard, my name is Ruth Ogutu. I cleared as we say uh, from Kwea in the year 2004 with a Bachelor of Education degree in English and Literature. As we are all gathered here today, with one thing at heart, with one mission and one goal, let's first give thanks and honor to the Almighty God. We started very well with mass and with prayers, and again, we also have to respect our country, Kenya, by giving us the honor again to have Catholic University of Eastern Africa established in this particular region. You as students, you've worked hard for the last four years, for the last two years, or for the last number of years that Kwea has accommodated you. The reason for you to choose to have chosen Kwea was because you wanted to be consecrated in truth. Even us outside as alumni, we joke about it, we laugh about it, that yes, we were deeply consecrated in truth, but it did work out very well for us outside there. I always want to define you as a graduate stepping outside this comfort zone of yours square that you are entering into two shambas. You're either entering into the shamba la wanyama or you're entering into the shamba la mawe. For those of you who understand what shamba la wanyama means, remember the story from um, way back the way there are two kinds of people in the society. There are two people whereby one is equal, but the other is more equal than the other. We have people who work on two legs and people who work on four legs. But what would distinguish you as a queer graduate out there as somebody getting into the Shamba Lawanyama? Regardless of where you've been brought up, could be using a silver platter, could be you have really struggled so hard from the time you are a child. It doesn't matter. Ask us the alumni out here. Life can be difficult. Life can be easy. Again, you entering into the Shambhala Mawe. Shambhala Mawe, as people joke, they say that if you stay in Nairobi, you will dig, 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 but you're actually digging on stones expecting to harvest something in return. It is again you as an individual with the attitude, the skills, and the knowledge that you acquired here over the last, say, four years, two years, a year, or number of months, that is going to distinguish you again from the rest outside. A choir graduate is held with very much nobility a choir graduate is held with very much prestige. Outside here, rather outside there, as I've been out for the last same, from the year 2004 to date, 17 years, being a graduate from this particular institution has given, in, given me an upper edge. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, social growth, even financial growth. We have gone through financial literacy as students, and it has really helped us outside there. We always um, thank the institution for allowing us to practice our religious beliefs, for lack of a better word. Most of us being Catholics, some being Protestants, and very few of us being Muslims. The campus has allowed you to grow maturely into the spiritual world. This clearly helps you with the social world as well. 
Adapt the same as you live queer. Go out there and fully show them that truly you are consecrated in not only the truth, but an all-rounded character, an all-rounded citizen. As I've been given this opportunity to stand here again, I want to welcome each and every graduate here today to join the Catholic University Alumni Association and the Catholic University Welfare Association. We have two very active groups. With the Alumni Association, there's a lot of socialization, regardless of what course you studied and what year you finished your university education here. We have different functions. We are planning to have a sports day. The sports day was to be actually in the year 2020, but then a lot happened last year. The sports day that was supposed to have been here was supposed to actually incorporate the uh, final year students and maybe the third year students to interact with the ones who are already outside there. Because we believe that we as graduates from here should give priority, and I mean this in the very politest way, not to be mean, give priority to any graduate from queer when it comes to job placements, when it comes to mentorship, and any other kind of growth. We also hold annual dinners where we meet even with administration. We air out our views about how the world is outside vis-a-vis -vis queer. We always have queer's interest at heart. With the Alumni Welfare Association, we live in trying times. People fall ill, people die. We thought it would be wise to come together with a common goal, again, with a common interest as students or as citizens who studied here. Form a welfare association, choose an office where we have a chairperson, I being the treasurer, uh, sorry, the secretary again, then there's the treasurer, she, she wished to be here, but because of work, being a Friday. There's a collection fee that we actually take every month, and this helps us especially with issues pertaining to illnesses and funerals. As we grow old, most of us have reached our fourth floor. Our parents probably are in their 70s and 80s. They fall ill, they die. We support each other fully. So I'd urge you students, through um, pretty sure Jeremiah, you can get uh, his contact or you can give him your contacts and he'll forward the same to us. The Alumni Association needs to be as strong as the chain that you and us outside there are going to make. And with those very few remarks, allow me to say congratulations, class of 2021, and welcome to the world. Big round of applause to our secretary, Ms. Ruth Ogutu. Thank you very much for that kind of encouragement and assurance to our graduates today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a noble custom of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa to give an award to her best student in such an academic exercise. I take this honor and pleasure to invite the DVC Academic Affairs and Research, Mrs. Professor Rachel Kemuto Gesami, to introduce and present to the congregation the valedictorian of this year 2021. Good morning, everyone, and all protocols observed. It is my singular honor to introduce to each one of you the 2021 Valedictorian for Queer this year. The Valedictorian must not only be a high, consistent academic performer, but also one who can associate with the core values of queer and fulfills the obligation of a scholar trained in a Catholic higher education. Our valedictorian enrolled in a four-year program and passed all the 52 course units at single sittings, including the research project, and they secured 37 straight A's out of the 52 getting a cumulative grade point average of 
0.9. Our valedictorian studied Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Your Eminence, the Chancellor, it is my pleasure to invite our valedictorian from the School of Nursing. I want to make a point here just to note that for the last five years, our valedictorian have all been female students. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to, inter to call upon Anne Wanchiru Karancha to come forward and make a short remarks. Chief Guest and Pro Chancellor, His Eminence John Cardinal Njue, all protocols observed. Namaste. As the 2021 valedictorian, I stand in front of you today very delighted and grateful. I feel very humbled for this honor. Abraham Lincoln once said, All that I am today or hope to be. I owe it to my mother. Today, all I can say is that all that I am or hope to be, I owe it to my, parent, to my family and to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Where has empowered me, not only academically, but also emotionally, spiritually, and physically. With this holistic growth, and God by my side, I can confidently walk out of here to conquer and serve humanity. To my lecturers, thank you very much for the support that you have accorded me through the years. To my friends in the School of Nursing, you know yourselves, we have been through this journey together. I wouldn't have done this without you. We work together as a team, and, and as Henry Floyd put it, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. Thank you. To my parents and siblings, I lack words to convey my gratitude for the unconditional love and all that you have done for me. Thank you, and may God bless you. To my fellow graduates, we did it. As Charles Dickens said, it was the best of times and the worst of times. The sleepless nights that we spent studying and trying to beat the deadlines have finally paid off. Now, it is up to us leave a legacy. Let us always remember that greatness is not, is not achieved by the amount of wealth that we accumulate, but, but by the smiles that we leave behind on the faces of those who cross our paths. As William Shakespeare said, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And while most of us may not be lucky enough to be born great or have greatness thrust upon us, we can always know that greatness is always within our reach. As I begin my nursing profession, I pledge to pass my life in purity and practice my profession faithfully. I will devote myself to the welfare of those committed in my care. And to my fellow nursing graduates, as our dearest mother of nursing, Florence Nightingale, once said, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all our lives. Thank you and congratulations 
to the class of 2021. Now, um, we have a trophy for her, and I'm going to request your eminence to come and give this bright student a gift from all of us. Let us give her a round of applause, please. I now take this humble opportunity again to invite the DVC Academic Affairs and Research, Mrs. Professor Rachel Gesami, to invite the Rector and the Vice-Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa to give his address. Thank you, and God is great. We are trying to push time, so I will go straight and ask our rector and vice-chancellor to come and give his remarks as we start. Thank you very much. Thank you, DVC. His Eminence John Cardinal Jue, Archbishop Emeritus of the Archdiocese of Nairobi and the Pro Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Our chief guest, CPA Nancy Gadungu, CBS, the Auditor General of the Republic of Kenya. Your Excellency, Right Reverend Maurice Muhate Makumba, Chairman, University Council of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, and Bishop of Catholic University of Nak Catholic Diocese of Nakuru. Your Lordships, uh, Father Anthony Makunde and Professor Vincent. Bagire, who are members of the University Council, distinguished members of the University Council, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, sponsors, and our dear graduates, faculty and students of Quea, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I take this opportunity to welcome you to the Catholic University of Africa's 40th graduation ceremony. May I take this also opportunity to thank and to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Your achievement today, especially in spite of the challenges faced in university education at this time as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, is no mean feat. You have been an excellent class in adopting to COVID-19 demands and challenges. Father, I would like to congratulate the parents, the guardians and sponsors of those graduating for facilitating the education of your graduates. You have made a large contribution towards changing the lives of those we celebrate today. I would like to thank you, our chief guest, Ms. Gadungu, for accepting our invitation uh, to attend our celebration of our own graduates. We are truly honored by your choice to grace our graduation ceremony today. Your Eminence, the chief guest, Ladies and gentlemen, in the past one year, Quea has lost several members of her family to the different ailments. We lost Miss Esther Molly from the Finance Department, 
Dr. Solomon Okumu, a lecturer at the School of Business, Ms. Margaret Mariga, a lecturer in the Faculty of Law, Reverend Professor Peter Gishure, the Director of Graduate Studies and a Professor of Theology, Professor Harriet Njui, a Professor in the Faculty of Education, and Mr. Balnabas Gikonyo, a Tutorial Fellow in the Faculty of Science. They were the great champions whom we have lost, but they have gone before us to pray for us. Let us all take a moment of silence in their memory. Eternal rest grant unto the faithful departed members of Queer family, O Lord, and let perpetual may their souls through the mercy of God rest in peace. Our chief guest, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Queer was founded by the Association of Member Episcopal Conferences in East Africa and Masaya to evangelize the Word of God through education. This we do through three key pillars, research, quality education, and community service. Our purpose as a university can be summarized into one statement producing ethical leaders for the church and society. Over the years, in an effort to fulfill our purpose, the university has grown its infrastructure and manpower, human power, to ensure that quality education is offered, impactful research is carried out, and the formation of our students take place. As Quea endeavors to fulfill her vision, we completed the construction of an 18 lecture halls building in our GABA campus in Eldoret, also in the first four months of this year, 2021, with the help of our donor partners, Porticus, we digitized 16 classrooms in the university. Eight classrooms were installed with the state-of-the-art digital interactive projectors and other eight classrooms were installed with the projectors and drop screens. This is our promise to produce the best learning and experience for our students and the teaching facilitation for our lecturers and professors. Our graduates you have completed your studies here in Kwea, and that is why we are gathered today to celebrate you. You received quality education, and you are formed into the professionals and scholars you now are. Kwea has purposefully formed you into ethical leaders over the years of your studies. This we have done academically by insisting that you take core courses that are based on ethics and values, constantly molding you directly or indirectly to live by the core values of the university and encouraging you to be there for your brother and sister in good times and in bad. The formation and education you have received have empowered you to actualize your life's purpose and made you global citizens in consonance with our graduation theme of today. Our chief guest may tell you that our students have lived this virtue. Every Thursday at midday we have the community mass of Kwea and each year the fac each faculty and the students are given their respective time to animate the mass and they bring donations and contributions which are given to the poor students at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. We shall miss this with our graduates but we shall participate together as alumna of our university. 
our global citizen is one who, due to his intellectual, spiritual, and philosophical world view, is not limited by space, culture, or time. A global citizen is a member of the world village and adapts well to it. A global citizen is an asset to humanity. You as human beings have a personal purpose that you want to fulfill in life. This purpose may be pegged on your family or your vocation or on your calling in life. Whatever your purpose, utilize what you have learned in Koya to fulfill it as a leader who is of moral standing and grounded in Catholic values. In addition, by the fact that you have been a student in Koya, you have interacted with the people from different countries and different backgrounds. This has exposed you to being a global citizen. This has not only made you ready to be an ethical leader, you are also ready to be a leader in any part of the world. This is the best preparedness you can have in any educational institution. Do not be deceived, my graduates. The world is as hostile in its nature as it is beautiful. It is full of opportunities that using the knowledge you have acquired in Koya can be positively taken advantage of. However, you have to be committed, competent and excellent in whatever you do. The world is also full of temptations, challenges and tribulations. To overcome all this, you have to be honest, truthful, prayerful, and a witness of life. If your life is grounded on these values and the value of faith, you are assured of success in whatever you pursue. Again, I would like to congratulate our graduates for your momentous achievement today. All I ask is that you be strong ambassadors of our Catholic University of Eastern Africa out there in the world, and please do not forget your alma mater. You are welcome to join our alumni as it was stated earlier, and may you continue to shine like the stars. May I take this early opportunity to wish you and your loved ones a Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. You are always in our prayers and we assure you of the same in our masses, in our prayer gatherings that we have here in Quea, to assure you of God's grace and good wishes as you take up your positions in the world today. May God bless you and all, and may he bless our beloved University Choir. Thank you very much. Big round of applause for our Vice-Chancellor and Rector of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. I invite the Rector and the Vice-Chancellor to invite the University ch Chair so that he may also give his address to the congregation. Thank you very much. May I take this opportunity now to welcome the Chair of the University Council, Right Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makumba, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, and our Chair, Karibu Sana. Your Eminence, John Cardinal Jue, 
our chief guest, Nancy Kathungu, Your Excellencies, members of the University Council, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the University Council of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, I welcome you to our 40th graduation ceremony. Congratulations to our graduates and to our graduates' parents, guardians, and sponsors for enabling the graduates to reach this great milestone. This graduation ceremony is a very special one for us as a university council because we are coming close to the end of our term as a council. The session we have just completed was the second last session of the current university council. And I want at this juncture to very much thank all members of the university council who have been with us since the year 2014 up to now. Myself, I joined the community of Kuea just more than 10 years ago. And I'm grateful to God for having given me the opportunity to serve in the capacity of a member of the council and eventually as chairman of the council. I want to thank in physical absentia, Right Reverend Benjamin Piri, member of council from Zambia. I want to thank in physical absentia, Right Reverend Marcos Gebre Medin, Bishop from Ethiopia, member of council. I want to thank Right Reverend Bishop Bernadine Mufumbusa from Tanzania, member of council. Kindly arise for the members to see you, congregation to see you. Bishop Mufumbusa. Stepped out a bit. I want to thank in physical absence here, Right Reverend Martin Mutumbuka from Malawi, member of council. I want to thank in physical absence here, Right Reverend Sabino Kanodoki from Uganda, member of council. And I want to thank Right Reverend Paul Kariuki Njiru from Kenya, member of council. We shall please arise for the congregation to see you. <laughs> Bishop Paul Kariuki replaces Bishop Morris Crowley, and we thank Bishop Morris Crowley for his service to the university and to the church in Amesea. I want to thank Most Reverend Mengestab Tesfamariam, Archbishop of Asmara from Eritrea, member of council. I want to thank Right Reverend Eduardo Hiboro Kusala, from South Sudan, the Diocese of Tombira Yambio is in the congregation, kindly arise for the members to see you. Let us give him a round of applause. I want to thank Mr. Peter Nda, member of council from Kenya. I don't know whether he's in the congregation. I want to thank Professor Vincent Bajire from Uganda, member of Council. Kindly stand for the congregation to see you. I want to thank Mrs. Bibiana Bolaya Kans from Zambia, member of Council, physical absentia. I want to thank very Reverend Father Anthony Makunde, Secretary General of Amesea, member of Council. And in a very special way, I want to thank a member of council who can neither be present with us physically nor present with us virtually, but is present with us spiritually. That is Professor Apollinaria from Tanzania. As you are aware, the Lord called her to himself when she was in service of the university council. We want to thank the Tanzania Episcopal Conference for the gift of Professor Apollinaria, and we pray that they give us a replacement soon. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, our purpose as a university council has been to make sure 
that queer not only weathers the storm it faces, the storms it faces, but comes out stronger and a better university. We as a council believe that queer is successfully navigating her route towards becoming a formidable university in her league. Today, the university sector is still facing many challenges, but at the same time, the sector has many opportunities that can be taken advantage of. The MSA region alone has over 420 universities. Kenya alone has over 72 universities and university colleges. To this end, Queer has the regional integration and canonical theological specializations as her niche that make us stand out among others. The university sector is also suffering from the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, which has led to a slow and stunted economic growth across the world. Online learning, however, has opened many doors in the sector. Today, we have a university that, comparable to many others that have embraced this mode of education and communication. In addition, the COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that large numbers of students in different faculties can successfully pursue and conclude their studies online in Queer. These are some of the opportunities that we have exploited as a university. Queer's purpose is to offer lifelong learning programs to form and inspire scholars to be ethical leaders through the Judeo-Christian, African, and other intercultural values. We do this through embedding the social teachings of the church in our curriculum. That is why today our graduates celebrate the completion of their studies not only just as scholars and professionals, but also as ethical leaders in their specific areas of specialization. Each and every one of us has a purpose in life. When we were children, some of us wanted to be police officers. Some wanted to be rally drivers and so on and so forth. As we grew older and got exposed to the world, we reviewed our purpose in life, leading to some wanting now to become lawyers, others teachers, engineers, doctors, champions of justice, priests, religious men and women, among others. Today, as you graduate, I believe your purpose in life has been polished even further. And each one of you has crystallized what your aim in life is. What I ask of you is, whatever your purpose, make sure that as you work towards fulfilling your individual goals, you square as core values to do so. Prayer, faithfulness, commitment, competence, honesty, excellence, and being a witness to life are values that if embraced by you, will make you successful in whatever you aspire to do in life. This is because the world is yearning for honest, just leaders, leaders of integrity. Once again, I congratulate you, the graduates, for completing your studies. Today we celebrate you. Tomorrow you begin the rest of your lives. We wish you well and will always, you will always be in our prayers. This also marks the last graduation ceremony I'll be speaking to in this capacity. And I want to thank you most sincerely for your collaboration. In conclusion, I invite you to be active members of our alumni association in order to be part and parcel of the larger family of queer that partners in placement of our students, growth of our university, and most of all, as ambassadors of queer. May God bless the graduating class of 2021. May God bless the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. And I must conclude by saying, in spite of the challenges we have faced in queer during these 10 years I've served here, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Thank you very much. Big round of applause for the chairman of the council. Thank you. 
It is now my honor and privilege to invite our chief guest to come and address the congregation. Madam Nancy, please welcome. Your Eminence, John Cardinal Njue, Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi and Pro-Chancellor. Your Excellency, Right Reverend Maurice Mohatia Makumba, Chairman, University Council. The Very Reverend Professor Stephen Bogwangari, Rector and Vice-Chancellor. Your Lordships, Bishops, members of the University Council. Distinguished members of the University Council, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, sponsors, and graduates, faculty and students of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all good morning. It is with profound humility that I stand before you as a chief guest to preside over this auspicious occasion. Graduations are events that bring joy, that bring hope, not only to the graduates, but also to the families, to the friends, and to the community at large. No doubt, it is a ceremony to be celebrated by all. To the graduates of the 2021 class, Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Today is a special day. It is not a day just to be celebrated and forgotten. It is a day that will remain edged in history as a culmination of your hard work and the sacrifices you have made and the sacrifices made by your families. It is a day where you're journeying to shape your future at a personal level and as a citizen of this country, indeed, as a global citizen continues. You're now beginning a new chapter in your life. This chapter is most defining with a lot of expectations on yourselves, from family members, from friends, and from the community at large. A lot is at stake because of the heavy investment made on your education and the hope that people have on you. The expectations for your success of course, from your family members, from your friends, and indeed from your fellow villagers who you may not have seen for quite a while as you went through this uh, uh, academic process, but who are also looking forward to celebrate with you and to your support. Indeed, the country is also looking up to you as the future leaders who will take this nation to the next level. Statistics from the Commission of University Education an economic survey review of 2020 show a steady increase in university enrollment, an indication of how much hope and investment is channeled to higher education. It is reported that enrollment has grown from over 501,601 501, in 2015-2016 to 513,182 in 2018-2019 and I'm sure it has grown even, uh, even more uh, for the 2020-2021 statistics in both the public and the private universities. University education is supposed to help you find purpose in life. I know that many consider attending university as a way of leveraging on promising career prospects, and I expect that while you are here taking the various courses, you had a unique opportunity to look at yourself, to reflect, and to think about how you can benefit and grow personally from the experience. I am glad to note that this university has produced many great men and women who are making an impact in the lives of citizens, and I have no doubt that we will follow in their footsteps. Indeed, in the Office of the Auditor General, we have quite a number of staff 
that have graduated from this university. So after graduating, many students are left asking each, uh, themselves, what next? You feel as if you're at a crossroad. What do you do now? Do you go out to search for your dream job? Do you tour the world? Do you take a gap year? That is something we've learned that is new with the younger generation. Uh, in our times, we didn't have anything called gap years. Or should you step further in your academic career and pursue the next degree? And the question that comes to mind sometimes is how do I prove that I am now different because I've graduated? This is normal at such times, but ask yourself, how will the decision you make moving forward impact on your life, impact on those who depend on you, those who look up to you, and most importantly, how will it contribute to the development of this nation? How will it contribute to the progress of your society? Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I can relate with excitement we all have for achieving good grades in our respective areas of specialization and the anxiety that waits you out there. I note that your prayer is to have a soft landing as you, uh, as you transform the society. And indeed, that is a key word, prayer. You must pray without ceasing if you expect a soft landing. This is the same situation some of us have been in during our journey through education. The anxiety is not necessarily a bad thing, as it helps you think about your contribution to the society. It keeps you on your toes and puts you in situations of self-reflection, in readiness for the next step. It keeps you moving. It keeps you growing. Today, as I encourage you in the next phase of your life, it is important to know that there are numerous opportunities out there. Some will be employed, some will go into business, others will go into other engagements. For those who are planning to get employed, please note that workplaces require all-rounded graduates, graduates who are innovative, skillful, who can inspire others, who can work harmoniously with others, who require limited supervision. And from what I've heard, the graduates of the University, of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, are such graduates. You therefore have to create your own space when you join the workforce. You have to stand out. You have to be different. And this is where the life values that matter to society, as inculcated, as inculcated by this university, comes into, get, into great use. It is not, of course, all about getting employed. There are numerous opportunities to be entrepreneurial. You can start your own businesses and eventually become the employers. The government has made this possible through the creation of the Youth Enterprise Development Fund, where young people can get access to credit facilities to run businesses. It will all depend on how aggressive, creative, forward-thinking, and most importantly, how courageous you are. The government has also established the Credit Guarantee Scheme to enable micro, small, and medium enterprises to access credit. For those of you who are in business or thinking about it, the government has already allocated about 5 billion Kenyan shillings to the scheme. In addition, there are other government-supported credit initiatives, such as the Kenya Industrial Estate, that also support small and medium enterprises. And further, all government entities are required by the procurement laws to reserve certain procurements to micro, small, and medium enterprises owned by the youth, the women, and the people living with disabilities. So the opportunities are there. But despite the availability of these credit facilities and opportunities, the uptick is very low. I know this because I audit these initiatives. We implore on you to take advantage of these opportunities to grow yourselves financially and ultimately to contribute to economic growth and to the society and this nation. Some of you will also rediscover talents that have been in you but have not been exploited. It is time to exploit these talents. You may have been good in sports, continue with that area. Rugby, athletics, football. It is time to maximize on these great talents and emulate Kenya's greatest of all, like Eliud Kipchoge in athletics, Colin Zinjera in rugby, Michael Lunga in football, Jane Washu and Janet Wanja in volleyball, and the latest sprint sensation, when we thought that in Kenya we could only do long distance and um, and, uh, and uh, 800 meters and steeplechase. 
Somebody comes in called Ferdinand Omanjala and tells us that we ain't seen nothing yet. And as Kenyans, he proves to us that we can, we can even do the sprints. So there are talents within us that we need to exploit. The contributions of these athletes to this country is immense, and the pride they bring has earned Kenya respect in the global arena. Indeed, when they're out there running, the country rallies together. And at that point, we do not know where we come from, or whether we are what tribes, or what level in our society, we are one as a nation cheering them on. You may also be the next music sensation in Kenya. And from what I've heard from the choir, and I can see there are some graduates from there, exploit that. The education you have gone through is to help you discover yourself. It is upon you to determine how to use your God-given gifts. Remember that every year, over 50,000 graduates join the, the, the job market. And it is how adaptive, how creative, how innovative, and I repeat once again, how courageous you are that will give you the edge over the others. To share with you a little bit of my journey and how this has, shaped, has, shaped by, has been shaped by the knowledge, skills, and experiences I've acquired throughout my career. For the last 28 years, I have dedicated my professional career in working in the public sector as an auditor. Rising from a junior fresh graduate, like some of you are today, uh, auditor full of hopes, dreams, and fears to my current position. I have been exposed to work in different environments, different sectors of the economy, and sometimes extremely difficult assignments. But above all, I have derived greatest satisfaction from working on areas where I felt I made the greatest impact. And this is because I've always believed that I could only make an impact if I moved from my comfort zone. Graduates of today, you must learn to move from your comfort zone. You must learn to move from the routine. So when opportunities to work in other areas within and outside the office came, I would jump at them, and that helped me in learning new things, gaining new skills, and reducing the monotony or boredom that we all dread. Indeed, this is a new thing that I'm doing here, giving a speech at a graduation ceremony. And I jumped at the opportunity when I was invited, not knowing whether I would manage or whether uh, I would uh, add value, but I jumped at the opportunity. So what I'm calling upon you is do not shy away from difficult circumstances. Embrace them, face them, and handle them with the, with the, with the faith that has been inculcated in you in these universities. So scaling heights in the corporate and business world is not easy. To succeed, you have to re rely on inherently strong attributes that I believe each, and each one of you possesses. One of these attributes is not being afraid to dream big or to start small. Get out of your comfort zone. Try out new things. Do not shy away from taking risks. How you react to the challenges you face will define your character, your resilience, your success. It will differentiate you as a high achiever of which we all long to be. So you must sacrifice your time and sometimes the things you love most Sometimes even people that might derail you, you may have to put them aside. We talk to teenagers and talk to them about peer pressure. But graduates, peer pressure is very real even in the adult world, perhaps even more so and more dangerous, especially when we compete to prove ourselves to each other. So you must learn to choose wisely the people that you walk the next step or the next part of your journey with. So many of you I know have had CPS nights, especially during exam time, a lot of prayers. Indeed, at that time during exam time is when very, very strange prayers are made, including some where we call upon the Lord Jesus to literally come down and sit on that desk and do the exam himself. Then after the exam, you call upon him again to come and do the marking. So how would you put the Lord Jesus in such a conflict? He does the exam and then he marks it and you get the grades. But you have also had to have less time with the families, and you have forgone some basic necessities for the sake of achieving what you have achieved. Your values and characters are your prized possession. Even as you get that degree, that doctorate, that master's, the most important thing is your values, your character, your name. Wherever you go, be it at your workplace or business, you may have divergent opinions that may not be popular 
But as long as your conscience is clear, when you're, then you're trading on the right path. Therefore, honesty, reliability, trustworthiness are key pillars that will be your guiding principles. Having the right attitude, humility, and the readiness to learn from others is very, very important. We all need good mentors if we are to grow in whatever field we get into. Get a mentor. As you graduate today, there are some of you who may be wondering what next after here. You look at some of your fellow graduates who are living passionate, engaged, meaningful lives. They have deep and meaningful relationships, rewarding jobs, and a sense of direction. They know their true worth, so to speak. You, on the other hand, may feel you're purposeless or aimless or have no goals in life. I want to remind you that you have a God-given purpose. However, the choices and the actions that you take from this day forward is what really matters. Step up in faith. You can continuously choose to do things that will bring you more joy and give you a sense of purpose, and this is where the power of education comes in. This is where your education will prove to you that indeed you've been prepared for the life after school. You have been given various life pointers, and from there it's upon you to make a candid decision on which way to take and how you can develop both yourself and the society at large. When we have purpose, we get fulfillment. Education has enabled you to connect with the people who can help you find your purpose. So as you journey along, I strongly advise you to continue surrounding yourselves with the right people who work smart to achieve their goals no matter what, who live the values and learn from them. Take note of Proverbs 11:14 that where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors, there is safety. And above all, trust God. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, what is your responsibility? The quality of life is largely defined by the services we get from those we entrust with public offices. You must therefore be at the forefront of being vigilant in how the public resources are used and managed for your sake. This country has enormous resources that can transform our lives, but this, however, depends on how they are managed. You, therefore, as a citizen of this nation, have that responsibility to ensure that public resources are managed for the benefit of the citizens of this nation, for your benefit. Public resources are your resources. The Constitution has given every Kenyan an opportunity to say or to play a role in how resources are allocated and managed. We will therefore be looking up to you as you graduate, as you join the market, to actively participate in the public meetings where decisions are made on the use and management of resources, decisions concerning development of this nation, decisions concerning delivery of quality services, decisions concerning sustainability, so that you become part of the solution to the challenges that we face as a country, the challenges that we face as a world. Your education and wider perspective of life and the way things are will be critical in such engagements. As citizens of this country, you also implement the rights given by the Constitution through my office. My office is mandated by the Constitution to ensure that there is prudent use and management of our resources and ultimately that there is delivery of quality and sustainable services to the people. We are an institution of value and benefits to the citizens. We do this by conducting financial compliance and value for money audits. As part of our collaboration with the citizens, we have initiated citizen accountability audits. This is a strategic initiative that is envisioned to provide mechanisms, opportunities, and tools for citizens to participate, to be engaged, and to be involved in public sector audit process. It provides an opportunity for you and for the other citizens, for the eyes and their voices in ensuring that they are consulted on their needs, their voices are heard, and there is value for money in the projects that are being implemented, both at the national and at the county level. Therefore, as you pray for a soft landing to transform the society, start with this area. Start, as you start the next phase of life, we encourage you to actively participate in this initiative. As a Supreme Audit Institution, the Office of the Auditor General is mandated to ensure that our country achieves sustainable university education aligned to goal number four of Agenda 2030 on Sustainable Development Goals in order to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education 
and to promote lifelong learning opportunities. And it is in line with this mandate that my office audits public universities to ensure expenditures are incurred in a prudent manner and through the audit opinions are issued that we are able to gauge and recommend on advancing the objectives of university education. As an audit office, it is through audit reports that we advise and assist universities to positively impact on the lives and livelihoods of our citizens. But you also need to play your role in demanding for transparency and accountability from those entrusted with our resources. It is your right, it is your privilege, it is your role. So in conclusion, as I conclude, I would like to congratulate once again each and every one of you for the dedication and commitment that has resulted to successful completion of the various programs that you have undertaken. It is a sacrifice that you have made, but it's just the beginning of the next chapter in your life's exciting journey. I pray and hope that your desires and aspirations and those of our society will be fulfilled through your contributions. I end by encouraging you with the wise counsel given by our Lord Jesus in Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. May God bless you all and the Catholic University of Eastern Africa fraternity. I thank you. A big round piece of applause. Thank you. Thank you, our chief guest. Thank you very much for the wonderful speech. Allow me once more to take this opportunity, and I do it with pleasure to invite the Pro Chancellor to come and address the congregation. Your Eminence, welcome. I'm going to be very, 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 very brief, as usual. <clears throat> so now, when I just read what is there on my presentation. Our CPA, Nancy Nadongu, CPS, the Auditor General of uh, Kenya, um, Lord Reverend Maurice Mohatia Makuba, who is the Chairman, University Council of uh, the Catholic University. Your Lordships, Bishops, members of the University Council, Reverend Stephen Bogwa, Gary, a Rector and a Vice Chancellor of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Queer, distinguished members of the uh, University Council, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, sponsors, and uh, graduates, faculty and the students of Queer. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of uh, the Association of Members Episcopal Conference in Eastern Africa, AMESEA, I welcome you also all to Queer's 40, uh, 40th graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations on your uh, accomplishment. Today, and congratulations to the parents, graduates, and the sponsors of our graduates 
for supporting them in this life defining uh, journey. I would like to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency, Right Reverend Charles Kasonde, uh, uh, the Chancellor of Okoya, for inviting me to preside over the graduation mass, which uh, was held virtually earlier today. But to preside over this, over this, our 40th graduation ceremony, due to traveling challenges brought about as a result of COVID-19, preventive measures, the Chancellor, who is also Bishop of the Diocese of Solwezi in Zambia, was not able to join. That is why I was then asked to come and uh, uh, I think that one is understandable uh, as pro chancellor. Our chief guests and the graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Kuea was formed by Amesea to be a regional university that uh, evangelizes the good news through education. The, uni the purpose of this university is to form our graduates into ethical leaders who go out and work for the church and the society all over the world. Through their ethical and uh, academical empowerment, they are able to positively impact, positively impact on the society in, uh, and the ignorant growth through transformation. <clears throat> Today, we, the Amesaya Bishops Consortium, are happy with the Queer's progress. The University Council, which as uh, constituted, is uh, concluding is the second term in service, has uh, done a good job in guiding the university as well looked within ourselves, they uh, rediscovered who we are and they came up with the strategies of how to ensure that we are self-sustainable in the long run. In a speech made in the Pontifical Lateran University on um, uh, that the 1st of October 2019, his Holiness Francis said that uh, universities need to consider what contribution they can, uh, what contributions they can and they must make to the integral health of the person and to an inclusive ecology. In this spirit and in an effort to ensure a self-sustaining culture where, through the guidance of the University Council, has uh, reinvited uh, herself and uh, gone on to uh, affirm her position as one of the best universities in Kenya and in the Amesea region as a whole. Our graduates, you joined Queer because you, uh, because you all had the common purpose and to grow yourselves as professionals, all as scholars. Queer went 
a stepfather and uh, formed you <clears throat> by inculcating values into your uh, character. This was uh, purposefully done to make you a champions of ethical character among your peers and thus make you ethical leaders in your personal and professional lives. Exodus chapter 35 verse 35 tells us that, and I quote, God has filled them with the skills to do every sort of work done by an ever-griever ever um, uh, by an engraver or by a designer or by an embroiderer in, in blue and purple and scarlet yarns, fine twinned linen or by weaver, by any sort of a workman or skilled designer. End of quote. God, through queer teaching, research, and the community service, has filled you with the skills to do the work you have been trained for in any part, in, in between for in any part of the world. And as you now move into fulfilling your individual purpose in life, do so using core values queer has inculcated you in. When you do so, you will become a beacon of ethical culture, and by reaching this pinnacle, we in queer will have fulfilled our purpose. Today, go and celebrate your big day by tomorrow is the dawn of new possibilities for you in life. You will face challenges during the sorry. You will face challenges trying to figure out what is the best to what is the best path to follow. From today, henceforth, seek guidance from those who uh, have successfully walked the path you follow before you. And I pray for God's guidance as you journey towards fulfilling your individual purpose, one step at a time. And as Martin Luther, start, um, the, the king, stated, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step and then look on for the other one. My dear friends, in an occasion like this, mine is to say, yes, congratulations for those who are graduating, but at the same time, is also to say, treasure that which you have learned. Challenges will be there, but remember that well, challenges or problems come and go, but you are there to stay. It is depending on how you will be able to uphold your own identity and those gifts that you have received, you will be able to go miles. Me, I'm not going to talk, talk more than that. I think you heard me say that I'm always um, brief. Um, uh, so, my need to say once again, congratulations and a thank you to all those who have been involved in working with you and making you reach where you have been able to reach. And as you go back now, you know, home and so on, go happily and smiling 
Let the parents also feel that, yes, you have really earned something for your own benefit and for the good of all. With those few words, then, may I say once again, thank you very much for all what has been able to be done here in this university. Let it be continued for the good also of the future generations. Nihayo tu kutoka chumba chetu cha habari basi mkae salama. Thank you. A bigger round of applause for our Dr. Dr. Chancellor for the wonderful the speech. The one who had the, the um, there, is, there was very small um, there is uh, something we didn't do because we were not ready. May I ask the valedictorian to come up and receive our gift before we go on. We clap for her as she comes ahead. She now receives her medal and her trophy from the Pro Chancellor. Congratulations, our valedictorian. Thank you very much, your eminence, for the wonderful speech and remark. I would wish now to have a small interlude of entertainment from the University Choir, please. The University Choir, may you please give us an interlude of entertainment before we get to the next part of our graduation program. The University Choir, please.
thank you very much. Thank you very much, our university choir. Thank you. We appreciate those beautiful voices. Ladies and gentlemen, we now reach the next part of our graduation ceremony, the conferment of degrees and awards of diplomas. It is now my, uh, my honor and humble pleasure to, to invite the DVC Academic Affairs and Research, Ms. Professor Rachel Kemunto Gesami, to lead us in the conferment of degrees and award of diplomas. Thank you very much. Um, to st we want to start, and we start with the doctorate in sacred theology. I have the honor and pleasure to invite the Dean of Faculty of Theology to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements of the degree of doctorate in sacred theology with specialization in dogmatic theology and moral theology. Doctorate in sacred theology with specialization in dogmatic theology. Suma Kumdaude, Robert Bafura, title of dissertation, The Future of Christology, a case study of Giard de Chardin, Cosmic Christology, and its relevance for the third millennium. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjara, Reverend Professor Peter Gichule, post -umuas. Mwenda Simon, title of dissertation, John Newman's Theology of Doctrinal Development, an explanation of Santa Cyprian's exoma of extra ecclesia nura surus. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjara, Reverend Professor Clement Magyawa, Edifio, Amagiris, title of dissertation, The Centrality of the Cross in Hans Uns Balthasar Christology and its Relevance for the Suffering in Africa. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjana, Reverend Professor Clement Majawa, Everest Equemu, Title of dissertation, Eucharistic Communion as a crazy means of curbing anger in Nigeria. Supervisors, Reverend Professor Peter Gichude and Reverend Professor Kremit Majawa. Manya Kumraude, Makundi Francis Matege, Title of dissertation, the transformative mission of the church as God's family in the light of African ethnological pedagogy. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjana, Reverend Professor Peter Gichude. I ask your eminence to confer upon these graduates the doctorate in sacred theology with specialization in dogma and moral theology.
on the recommendation of uh, the academic board and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the uh, Holy See in the name of the uh, Supreme Pontiff, Pope Francis, I confer upon you the uh, doctorate in sacred theology with a specialization in dogmatic theology, moral theology, spiritual theology, and the sacred liturgy. Doctor of Philosophy, Civil Programs. I have the honor and pleasure to invite the Dean of Faculty of Theology, the Dean of Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, the Dean of Faculty of Education, the Dean Faculty of Science, the Dean School of Business, to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in their areas of specialization and a doctorate of business administration. Doctor of Philosophy in Theology with specialization in dogmatic theology. Second class honor, upper division, Kamau Tairo Moses. Title of dissertation, Translation of Ministerial Priesthood in the Light of Agikuyu Edership. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjana, Reverend Professor Clement Madiawa. Doctor of Philosophy in Theology with specialization in Moral Theology. First class honors, Sister Teresa Kiragu. Title of dissertation, Holistic Healthcare Ethics and the Culture of Life. So as a new approach of eating in the Catholic Archdiocese of Nyeri, Kenya. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Wabang, Reverend Professor Guiza. Doctor of Philosophy in Theology with specialization in spiritual theology. First class honors. The Medius Kipe. Title of dissertation, San Teresa of Avila's interior castle as a guide for overcoming the challenge of prayer, a case study of the apostolate of discarded Camillas in Nigeria. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Dignat Regna Ditem and Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjara. Doctor of Philosophy in Counseling Psychology, Dr. Chosi Bills and Gujobi, dissertation title, Personal Therapy as a Mandatory Requirement for Counseling Students and its Outcome in Selected Universities in Nairobi County, Kenya. As supervisors, Dr. Stephen Asasa, Professor Jacinta Adiambo. Appeals Wambua Mwasa. Dissertation title Burnout in Ministry and Organizational Commitment Among Catholic Religious Men and Women Working in Rural Areas. A case of Lord Diocese in Turkana County, Kenya. As supervisors, Professor Sahaya Selvan, Dr. Elicha Macharia Ndungu, Doctor of Philosophy in Philosophy, Nachuma Oliver Babiria, Dissertation Title, Kant's Deontological Ethics, 
the philosophical foundation for affirmative action. The supervisors, Reverend Dr. John Mohenda, Reverend Dr. John Josephine Apio, Eric Tolube Akinoboyoye, dissertation title, Obafemi Awolo Democratic Socialism, a pragmatic panacea for the crisis of governance in contemporary Africa. A supervisors, Reverend Dr. Nchuguna Waiterero, Reverend Dr. John Muhenda, Ivan Kabinge Bruno, dissertation title, Philosophical Exploration of the Interface Between Indigenous African Religion and African Ethics towards enhancing ethics in Africa today. Supervisors. Philosophical exploration of the interface between indigenous African religion and African ethics towards enhancing ethics in Africa today. Supervisors. Reverend Dr. Njuguna Waiterero, Reverend Dr. John Mohenda, Robert Bellamino Machu, dissertation title, A Critique on the Social Political Civil Disobedience in Johnny Dewey's Philosophy, Supervisors, Reverend John Mohenda, Reverend Dr. Njuguna Waiterero, Pascal Bata Muina, dissertation title, a critique of Tom Reagan discourse on using animals as objects. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. Njuguna Waiterero, Reverend Dr. Jospin and appeal. Mawaso Kabula Sirikuva, dissertation title, The Construction of Armed Conflicts, Discourse of the Third State in Reference to the Democratic Republic Congo. Supervisors, Reverend Dr. John Mohenda, Reverend Dr. Njuguna Waiterero, Lawrence Ofuncha Kangei, dissertation title on, and, on Arendt Constituent Power, Equipoise Between State and Sovereignty. Supervisors, Reverend John Mohenda, Dr. Patrick Nyapul. Doctor of Philosophy in Theology with specialization in sacred liturgy. Alfred Oruabwana. This is what Title of dissertation, the daddy calculation of traditional musical instrument in the Eucharist celebration a case study of rural community of the Catholic Diocese of Omabe, Kenya. Supervisors, Reverend Professor John Luwata, Reverend Dr. Frederick Wanjaya. Doctorate in Sacred Theology with Specialization in Moral Theology. Manya Kumdaude, Vincent Murray, title of dissertation, Equity Nature Goods, Steward in Kenya and End Resources in the Light of Leru Novaru. Supervisors, Reverend Professor Visa, Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Wabanu.
Maria Ntarangwe dissertation title Emotional Intelligence and Career Adaptability of Academic Staff in Selected Universities in Nairobi County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Stephen Asasa, Dr. Elisha Macharia Ndungu. Reverend Peter Kamua Kamumoe, dissertation title, The Effects of Emotional Intelligence and Forgiveness on Marital Quality in Kenya. A case of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi within Kiambu and Nairobi counties, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Stephen Mbogwangari, Professor Peter Gichure Ustiumas, Dr. Richard Macharia Ndungu, Alice Wangwe Gikandi, dissertation title, Family Dynamics and Substance Use Disorders Among the Youth in Selected Rehabilitation Centers in Nairobi County, Kenya. Our supervisors, Dr. Chos Pius Ngujobi, Dr. Choel Chambi Muripi. Doctor of Philosophy in Education, Madeline Sophie Barat Achieng, Specialization, Education Administration and Planning, Dissertation Title, Influence of Implementation of Free Day Secondary Education Funding on Student Retention in Migori County, Kenya, Supervisors, Sister Dr. Elizabeth Nduku and the late Professor Harriet Njui. Christine Kiden Janet, Specialization, Educational Administration and Planning. Dissertation title, Implementation of Eternal Quality Assurance Policy in Undergraduate Education for quality teaching and learning in public universities in South Sudan. Supervisors, Professor Marcella Momani and Sister Dr. Theonestina Katundano. Majari Wanjira Murioki, Education Administration and Planning, dissertation title, Assessing the Influence of Health school health interventions on educational achievements in secondary schools in Kibra sub-county, Nairobi County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Margaret Gikui and Dr. Susan Macharia. Daniel Kosia Mokoro, Specialization, Curriculum Studies and Instruction, Dissertation Title, Determinants of Effective Implementation of Competence-Based Curriculum in Public Secondary Schools in Arumeru District, Tanzania. Supervisors, Dr. Peter Changilwa and Professor Jacinta M. Adiambo. Francis Mwangi Gatura, Specialization, Education Administration and Planning. Title, Students' Council Leadership Involvement in School Management for Enhancing Students' Discipline in Public Secondary Schools in Machakos County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Marcella Momani and Dr. Shem Mwalwa. Dorothy Atieno Okoth, Research and Evaluation, Dissertation Title, Effectiveness of Teaching and Learning Strategies Used in HIV and AIDS Education in Public 
Specialist Boarding Secondary Schools in Kisumu County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Ann Kanga and Sister Professor Jacinta M. Adiambo. Ezekiel Mutinda Kitivu, Research and Evaluation, Dissertation Title, Evaluation for Implementation of Training Programs at the Technic Technology Development Centers at the River, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Ann Kanga and Professor Justus Mbae. Musungu Wafula Joseph, Research and Evaluation. The title, Evaluation of Implementation of Information and Communications Technology Policy for the Education Sector in Public Secondary Schools in Kimilili Sub-County, Bungoma County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Paul Ogula and Dr. Jennifer Munua. The Pro Chancellor is Eminence John Cardinal Dweck. I have the pleasure to invite the Director of Postgraduate Studies of Tangaza University College to present the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirement of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Social Transformation. Doctor of Philosophy in Social Transformation with a specialization in governance, Tangaza University College. David Bakamana Bilungule, dissertation title, The Impact of Indigenous Manga Rituals of political, on Political Leadership Among the Luba People of Kasai in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Supervisors. Reverend Professor Laurenti Magesa and Reverend Professor Clement Majawa. Doctor of Business Administration, Grace Wairimo Moreidi, dissertation, Influence of Intellectual Capital and Dynamic Capabilities on Research Productivity of Academic Staff in Kenyan Universities. Supervisors. Dr. Abraham Kifremaliam and Dr. Vincent Omwenga. Masui Laulenti Sylvester, dissertation, the association between perceived knowledge creation behaviors in selected private universities in Tanzania. Supervisors, Professor Robert Alasa and Professor Tadeus Mkwama. I ask His Eminence to, to confer upon these graduates the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctorate in their areas of specialization. On the, on the uh, recommendation, of the Senate and by virtue of uh, the authority vested in me by the uh, University Council, I now confer upon you the uh, degrees of uh, Doctor of Philosophy and Doctorate in uh, your areas of uh, specialization. Um, I, uh, there's one we have, I think we are confused from COVID. Now, there's one, there's one who has been left out, and uh, that is from the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, and the Professor Nyanjoga will call him out. Apology, this student is from Tangaza University College. Uh, 
Doctor of Philosophy in Religious Studies, the Serbia Center, dissertation title, Catholic Educational Institutional Role in the Empowerment of Women for Social Transformation, with special reference to Tangaza University College, Nairobi, Kenya. A supervisors, Professor Lucy Kimaro, Reverend Dr. Joseph Karamasa. Titus Kibara Karimi, dissertation title, in the characterization of Kikuyu Mburi Siakyama, Rituals on Spirituality of Presbyterian Church Men Fellowship, Kiamathare Presbytery of Kiambu County, Kenya. Our supervisors, the sister, Dr. Bibiana Ngundo, Reverend Professor Peter Gichure Ustiumas. I ask His Eminence to convey upon the graduates the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor Doctorate in their areas of specialization. On the uh, recommendation of the same of the Senate and by virtue of the authority vested uh, in me by the University Council. I now confer upon you the degree of doctors or doctor of philosophy and doctorate in in your areas of specialization. Canon law ecclesiastical degrees. I have the honor and the pleasure to invite the Director Institute of Canon Law to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for award of licensing in Canon Law of the Pontifical Urbaniana University for Recognition. Licentiate in Canon Law, Summa Cum Laude, Emmy Opio, Gervais Jumbo Quito, John Paul Mantebula, Maureen Ogil Achieng, Prisca Kichoncho, Rafael Obetia, Manya Cum Laude, Agnes Massabo, Florence Busingye, Nakato Noelina, Ngona Diodone Mugarwa, Tonderai Sola. On the the Catholic University of uh, Eastern Africa is delighted to recognize and celebrate the students from the Institute of Canon Law who successfully obtained licentiate degree in Canon Law from the Faculty of Canon Law of the Pontifical Urbaniana University. Faculty of um, Theology, ex ecclesiastical degrees. 
I have the honor and pleasure to invite the Dean of Faculty of Theology to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for confirmation of the licentiate degree, degree in, so in uh, Sacred Theology. Licensed in Sacred Theology with specialization in Moral Theology. Manya Kumdaude, Emmanuel Yobot, Matata Gabriel, Kabui Patrick Gachuru, Kumdaude Probatus, Ogueke Oriva. Licensed in Sacred Theology with specialization in Biblical Theology. Manya Kumraude, Father Ambrose Ngumbi. I ask His Eminence to confer upon these graduates the license in sacred theology in their respective specialization. On uh, <clears throat> the recommendation of the academic board and by virtue of uh, the authority vested in me by the uh, Holy See in the name of the uh, Supreme Pontiff Pope of uh, Francis I confer upon you the uh, licentiate in sacred theology in uh, your area of specialization Okay, um, I have the honor and pleasure to invite Dean, Faculty of Theology, D Dean, Faculty of Science, Dean, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Principal, Ekima University College, Vice Chancellor, Designate, Tangasa University College, Principal, Marist International University College, Director, Institute of Regional Integration and Development, Dean, Faculty of Education, Dean School of Business to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the confirmment of master's degree in their respective areas of specialization. Master of Theology with Specialization in Second Liturgy. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Albert Mongore Ntere, Marco Muzidigwa. Master of Theology with Specialization in Pastoral Theology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Jen Kairu, James Kinu Sanjau, Pascale Francisco, Paul Senkeu, Giche Chenjinu, and Mark Busima. Master of Theology with Specialization in Moral Theology. Second class honors, upper division, Stella Maris Mutindi. Master of Theology with specialization in Biblical Theology. Second class honors, upper division, Emma Njoroge. Master of Theology with specialization in Spiritual Theology. Second class honors, upper division, Peter Maria Okoye Jeremiah. Jean Pierre Francis Nganga Yao Saba. For the degree Master of Theology, Systematic Theology, Hakima College, first class honors. Grant David Tange, Second Class Honours Upper Division, Osorodian Solomon Iriabe, Honore Ola Onana, Quevea Watson Matara, and Ignatius Bichodi Mukanzi. Master of Science in Mathematics, 
Distinction Mary Nyambura Mwangi Muketo Cecilia Kaleche Master of Arts in Regional Integration, Kweya, Distinction, Bridget Garubo, Past, Really Nice Rura, Master of Arts in Geography, Kweya, Past, Anis Longo, Master of Arts in History, Kweya, Past, Oscar Robert, Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Kweya, Distinction, was born a man, Sarah Nasimiu, Veronica Jebkemoi. Pass, Nelly Cherigat, Kaimuri Mongera, Jamel Arusei, Ojabei Murias, Lucia Muikari, Chinere Okore, Kalundo Kiama, Anyango Nyaguthi, Katuri Ndigwa, Wandia Mbogo, Abadali Kuara, Irene Ayako Danu Kiteme Master of Arts in Counseling Psych Psychology Master of Arts in Kiswahili and Communication Pass Jebukamboy Kiplagat Jebkurui Kibet Rosalina Joseph Nicholas Matheka Master of Arts in Project Planning and Management, Kweya, Pass, Nicholas Cyril, Mwenda Ngira, Maria Mendi, Kipkoril Matitim, Chemtai Kipchumba, Deche Machiro, Kipia Chepchuma. Master of Arts in Development Studies, Kweya, Distinction, Owino Olo, Pass, Odiambo Wambia, Orenge Ochego, Mora Nyangau, Karo Kuwaka, Watako Rabando, Eric Kipto, Josia Ongai, Janet Ugibene, Eric Otieno. Master of Arts in Justice, Peace and Cohesion, Distinction, Diokali Masawe, Pers, Kepto Yesak, Sebastian Agu, Dongo Mary. Uh, Masters of Arts in Psychospiritual Therapy and Counseling, Psychospiritual Institute, Marist International University College, Distinction, Ifoma Felicia Opala, Innocent Damenso Kachala, Evaristus Mumbize Yui, Sefas Magaji, Caroline Kisanga Fon, Pass, Josephine. I'm Nota Ebuehi, Emily Rod Rodig Eteme, Joseph Yasaria, Angela Chioma Ogu, Pira Mudu Frank, Stephen Umbugua Chikwanda, Antonia Oke. Master of Arts in Religious Studies. Waguru Nanga, Wolda Mariam Michael, Wasila Kevina, Master of Arts in Philosophy Kweya, Alvin Lawrence, Alidai Kumenda, Chisimba Willard, Comfort Nyati, Nasabu Choi, Makoka Philemon, Burugo Kimathi, Ochoki David, Onyango Ouma, Pass, Teofilas Nzengu. Mass of Arts in Literature, Kweya, Distinction, Nasirobe Evelyn, Pass, Ayeko Ongonga, Nabire Chuma, Isaac 
most failed. Mass of Arts in Applied Linguistics Square, ben Distinction, Bernard Mashak, Pass, Chelimo Caroline, Opine Rosmel, Patrick Mwembere, Mbo Machi. The Pro Chancellor is Eminence John Fetter I now have the pleasure to invite Dean School of Theology, Dean School of Arts and Social Sciences, Dean School of Education to present the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for confirmation of master's degree in respective areas of specialization of Tangaza University College. Master of Arts in Spirituality and Religious Formation, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Brother Olabanjo Orowole. Pass, Kaburu Jacob, Kaketo Rogers, Mutune Daniel, Everest Simeon, Onyokonu Uche. Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology. Tangaza University College. Pass. Njui Flora Nduta, Stella Maina, Victoria Wambui Macharia, Mbusa Vincent, Njau Judita Muringo, Lilian Anyango. Mm -hmm. Master of Arts in Social Transformation, Tangaza University College. Distinction. Joyce Nyangweso Momanyi. Pass. Equem Evaristus, John Opi. Susie Lomoro, Nakoli Beatrice. Master of Education in Guidance and Counseling, Tangaza University College, Pass, Wildersir, Ogbatense, The King. Master of Education in Leadership and Administration, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Marieta Nzuka Samuel. Pass, Musime Patrick. Master of Education Queer. Distinction, Nyangor Masi Victorine. Teresia Mudoni Kinyanjui, Wenya Jacinta Lutomia, Philip Ipat, Pass, Christine Tioko, Brenda, Osena, Oseno, Kugo, Mukara, Namaya, Ndololo, Wamahio, Catherine, Evelyn, Manyok, John, Rose, Sister Oliver, Anthony, Jemutai, Chebet, Ouma, Titus. Master of Business Administration, Distinction, Maria Tanzuka, Pass. Uh, sorry, Distinction, Nukian Kibatus, Pass. Angela Akinyi. Getumbi John, Michael Kibet, Luce Washela, Mekonen, Peter Kipruto, Hilali Maiko, Bundi Momanyi, Karungu Tabaro, Benedict Wabua, Caroline Wanjira, Joki Esther, Rachel Jerry, Ondri Afiabo, Joyce Wangeshi, Mashalia Isaac, Solomon Kyogora, Lydia Gashenga, Anthony Kiroli, Asikogu Shinonso, Eric Nsimilimana, Ilakose Gizele, Iladukuda Benimana, Eric Alemba Shem, Father Augustine Katudu, Patience Martha Dalila, Zakayo Kipto, Anne Jepkemboi, Irene Mwendwa, Fadili Buhendwa, Anne Wanjuhi, Rosita Nkuluka, 
Gabriel Getao, Irene Kanini, Nakato Maureen, Kezia Waitela, Zari Mwakabula, Ntibi Mwanika, Wilkinsta Wakamba, Banse Bandi, Anu Wambui, Gradis Kangeve, Catherine Mulwa, Paris Njugu, Father Francis Okeo, Joshua Kialo, Kangeve, Peter, Kami Amli, Kosgei Kitul, Emos Kiptui, Maikom Mbutu, Roselyn Awo, Christine Okinyi, Esther Mwende, Kanguele Teresia. I ask His Eminency to confer upon these graduates the master's degree in their respective areas of specialization. On recommendation of the Senate and by virtue of uh, the authority vested in me by the University Council, I confer upon you the uh, master's degree in uh, your areas of uh, specialization. Postgraduate diploma, I have the honor and pleasure to invite Dean Faculty of Education to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the award of postgraduate diploma in their respective area of specialization. Postgraduate diploma in education, where? Distinction, Noli Oluchi Lillian, Million Mario Adem, Wycliffe Ochieng Odera. Credit, Patrick Murage Njagi, Gerard Inzaule. Postgraduate Diploma Teaching in Higher Education, Quare. Credit, Abde Ali. Postgraduate Diploma in Project Planning and Management. Credit, DIBA. I ask His Eminency to award these graduates the Postgraduate Diploma in their respective area of specialization. On the recommendation of the Senate and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Council, I award you postgraduate diploma in your areas of specialization. Just before the calling of the other names, for all under for all graduates, that is the bachelor's certificates and diplomas, we are requested only to call one names from now. Thank you. Thank you, MC. A certificate and diploma. I have the honor and pleasure to invite Dean Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Dean Faculty of Science, Director Center for Social Justice and Ethics. Dean School of Business, Director Gaba Campus, Director Institute of Canon Law, Principal Ikabami, Principal Marist International University College, Principal St. Augustine Teachers Training College Ishiara, Vice Chancellor Designate Tangasa University College. To call, to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the award of certificate and diploma in their respective areas of specialization.
Certificate in Integrated Environmental Impact Assessment and Environment Audit, where distinction. Helen Credit Samson. Certificate in Sustainable Child Rights Protection and Post-Institutionalized Care, where distinction. Valentin Linda Mbachira. Credit Jacqueline Jane Mary Nam, Chen Mugo, Ruth, Gladys, Victoria, Teresa, Clementina, Elizabeth, Rachel, Maureen, Edina, Lucy, Elsa, Ruth, Margaret, Lynette, Evelyn, Nguai, Paz, Achello, Alice. The Pro Chancellor, His Eminence John Kaduje. I have the honor to call upon the Dean, School of Theology, Dean, School of Education, Dean, School of Social Sciences, to present the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirement for the award of certificate and diploma in respective areas of specialization of Tangaza University College. Certificate in Spirituality with Focus in Franciscan Studies, Tangaza University College. Credit, Jerry Benson. Vincent Diwa, Samuel, Robert, Onyango, Mercy, Anne, Ogoti, Waweru, Winnie, Sister Julia, Kamore, Tanui, Aboki, Atanja, Sister Magdalene. Certificate in Spirituality and Religious Formation, Tangaza University College. Credit, Bubi, Golela, Mercy, Nuokelo, Oke, Doreen, Catherine, Basilid, Annette, Matsiko, Sebugeni. Certificate in Islamic Studies, Tangaza University College. John, Brigitta, Omar, Mercy. That is distinction. Credit, Ignatius, Kanja, Cecilia. Diploma in early childhood development education, St. Augustine, Ishiara. Distinction, Yeshofi, Ereri, Juma. Credit, Nyaga. Certificate in library and information science, owning body first. Diploma in catechetics and pastoral ministry. Credit, Margaret, Edina, Sophia. Certificate in church management and leadership, queer, distinction, or the Janet, Gibb of Violet, Van Nekemunto, Negem Betesfei. Credit, Jordanos. Advanced uh, Certificate in Church Management and Leadership, Queer, Diokali, Distinction, Diokali Masawe, and Sebastian Agu. Advanced Certificate in Justice and Peace, Queer, Distinction, Victoria Nzioka, Marie Mendy. Credit. Jovita, Lembe, Old Mariam, Okinda, Lindia. Pass, McLean, Eric, Emmanuel. Certificate in Media Production, Tangaza University College. Distinction. Maina, Nyarima. Credit, Wadhuta, Gakuo, Chol, Laki, Karyuki, Mundia. Certificate in Leadership and Management, Tangaza University College. Credit, Kap Kirok, Humelo, Mandela, Lomosi, Osango. Certificate in Sciences of Human Development, 
Tangaza University College Credit Omwenga Kamata Certificate in Counseling Psychology Tangaza University College Distinction Jenga Credit Mwania Mwangi Nyokabi Mbogo Njau Mbachi Njunu Njonge Certificate in Social Entrepreneurship Tangaza University College Distinction Alhemir Wor Ishmael Tima Credit Ukongo Amanyen Abrahim Elipan Thor Ismael Daldum Hassan Lokolo Gugugei Ilimi Kumi Kacho Almaraka Almuraka Mbavo Certificate in Child and Youth Studies Tangaza University College Mkinda Credit Diploma in Counseling Psychology Kwea Distinction Suleiman Credit Odiambo Penina Muyafi Jepkemoi Musuru Jepkosgei Chepto Diploma in International Relations Square Distinction Nyamu Chens Credit Koryata Wambui Muganda Nchuguna Mwenda Libatalia Motanya Dash Kemunto Pass Hirari Damaris Mumbi Victoria Mwende Ring Kantai Riyayi Chimwasa Riorionka A Diploma in Social Work Distinction Claire Bwari Credit Chuna Doris Peter Eric Robin Ogola Kanari Ado Advanced Diploma in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, Maris International University College. Credit, Felista. Advanced Diploma in Development Studies and Social Work. Credit, Nicole Nyanga. Pass, Mwantha Rita. Diploma in Education. Credit, Candy Cornelius Agnolo. Diploma in Business Management, Credit, Ann Soila, Mpesha, Miriam. Diploma in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, Credit, Waweru, Pass, Kihui, Michelle, Michael, Nyangatari. Diploma in Information Technology, Credit, Ekate, Irene, Kiute, Pass, Yembo, Ndungu. Diploma in Development Studies and Social Work, Distinction, Ogega, Credit, Philip Didier, Emmanuel, Eve, Gitau, Wambua, Joseph, Kevin, Quenya, Linda, Curtis, Muganda, Muturi, Penaline, Risti, Sharon, Valentine, Wanjiku, Pass, Bongi, Ian, Irene, Stephen. Diploma in Project Planning and Management of Development Project. Distinction, Ndiangu, Nyabwanga, Sankale. Credit, Danson, Faith, Galmo, Guracha, Kandrel, Leshan, Mumo, Ngoitoi, Nyanga, Patience, Usna, Yugu, Pass, 
Antonella. Diploma in Evangelization and Catechesis, Amesea Pastoral Institute. Distinction, Esther Kamau, Credit, Ntebi Frank. Diploma in Pastoral Ministry and Management, Amesea Pastoral Institute. Distinction, Henry Shileka, Credit, Father Jerome Senkwinga, Ayekundira Liberio, John Imbaria Galdaia. Diploma in Theology, Tangaza University College. Distinction. Bejeha, Mutabasi, Aloysius, Karyoki, Sormei, Pashombana, Mbundu, Gandaho. Distinction. Credit, Sendija, Precious, Aful, Jerry, Sentongo, Timothy, Simon, Mugenei, Christian, Katongo, Amaechi, Kakuru, Gabriel, Madunagu, Msofe, Kamanga, Katiku, Innocent, Mason, Agaba, Owino, Biro, Piri, Katembo, Remi, Kurtua, Njoroge, Omini, Oyeke, Christopher, Jackson, Murego, Kutondokwa, Kasamba, Wanyanja, Juma, Agre, Gabriel, Biarugaba, Musasizi, Tuo, Punjako, Raul, Aketre, Angmor, Lare, Muema, Fosten, Kimgeno, Chanda, Luanga, Kamanyire, Tembo, Oamukama, Bahati, Kumoshave, Akanchel, Tuongirwe, Kirwowa, Maraga, Rijo, Sangombe, Sebuluzi, Jobo, Mina, Agustin, Malvin, Marshall, Magway, Stephen, Chemayeg, Rogasian, Jacinto, Martinez, Riziki, Sosa, Oyo, Dennis, Robert, Omonding, Osorit, Chimuka, Pala, Chau, Eric, Matthew, Gideon, Mutua, Dane, Joseph, Nakei, Minzi. Agvasoa, Michael, Mumba, Robert, Detembea, Mike. Pass. Mufua, Randria Manana, Mureidi, Mahai, Evans, Sebienda, Nyangau, Omari, Kabongo, Joseph, Nda, Kigundu, Abenawe, Agastas, Chifumbano, Agramako, Adrian, Mandele, Sivisimwa, Magoho, Sales, Ngala, Pavikiran, Jerin, Ambei, Nayaka, Camacho, Luswamu, Domingos, Mina, Arvind, Nihil, Cordeiro, Anthony, Andama. Diploma in Spirituality and Religious Formation, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Sister Regina, Igwe, Laswai, Credit, Monica, Mujao Yesu, Okono, Sister Rebecca, Ravonji Malala, Ruth, Ebere, Fabiola, Ndonyi, Ndakirutimana, Martina, Niyobu Hongiro, Devota, Grace, Musabiu Muhosa, Wilson, Odiete, Birhane, Tovarison, Ankama, Prince. Diploma in Philosophy, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Juliana, Ad Juliana Mokoro, Amelia. Credit, Valentin, Okeka, Evans, Ocheng, Juma, Mushila, Dumago, Albanas, Gitau, Gitome, Owar, Odwar, Olo, Constant, Kevin, Nyongeza, Virginia, Wesonga, Evaristo Asumta Nyakundi Machika. Diploma in Sciences of Human Development, Tangaze University College. Distinction, 
la chawe. Credit. Omulo, Luare, Lydia, Mboya, Shitachi, Moseti, Memia, Mwania, Mudoni, Wangui, Mutanda, Duta, Kato. Diploma in Counseling Psychology, Tangaza University College. Distinction. Anyache, Otieno, Muturi, Ija, Chege, Kunina, Moturi, Motugi, Dongo, Warushu, Wanjiku, Mutua, Kifuthi, Chilo, Joroge, Nganga, Jenga, Araya, Kimani, Odiambo. Credit. Matata, Machemba, Mulila, Mukonyo, Rukaria, Yegon, Ibelia, Mundasi, Okelo, Kiarie, Njagi, Nyanjui, Wanjiku, Kamau, Mathu, Kanga, Kamau, Kimani, Muthangia, Mwangi, Guitui, Jebet, Muthoni, Kamau, Mutisia, Wangari, Muchoki, Maina, Nafula, Mwaniki, Joroge, Muindi, Kibui, Kiuna, Wanja, Boma, Chege, Leparakuo, Mabuti, Mauye, Mwangi. Mwaniki, Njagi, Njiru, Zayanga, Ogembo, Orinjo, Saba, Ndegwa, Waweru, Were, Egesa, Ndwiga, Ochieng, Gitau, Nyongesa, Chacha, Odhiambo, Mwendwe, Mwondwe, Maina, Tomlo, Musioka, Wambua, Okelo, Kagunya, Woro, Kipanga, Mwangi, Karel, Karanja, Kitunga, Munene, Mbuthia, Mwangi, Mwasema, Chuwaya, Karani, Jedida, Juma, Wandai, Mwaura, Omoro Fula, Ibrahim, Rester, Kahugi, Kihoro, Muinde, Zeitun, Chibara, Mukuria, Kigima, Kasambwe, Sawe, Ireri, Kirimi, Waweru, Atieno, Owoko, Wandeto, Ogutu, Kabugi, Njuki, Sharua, Musili, Munaita, Nganga, Ochonga Here, Macharia, Muranga, Wachira, Juguna, Akinyi, Njeri, Mwangi, Akinyi, Ongayo, Tumu, Geso, Aud, Audi, Omogi, Juma, Obara, Gichia, Otieno, Wanjiku, Mwarwanga, Mwanzo, Mwazo, Ziza, Onyango, Nyameya, Buni, Mwalukumbi, Morabai, Mwambi, Mwangi, Kwena, Kisangi, Onyango, Athiambo, Atieno, Wanjiru, Owayo, Bamba, Kirimi, Tita, Macharia, Wantai, Kimondio, Kariuki, Wanyabera, Okanga, Odero, Mkenda, Otiwa, Wamaitha, Mbugwa, Migombi, Mburu, Muripi, Odhiambo, Waweru, Nzomo, Nirmo, Biwot, Mburu, Onyangu. Diploma in Integrative Spirituality, Spiritual Counseling, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Yongwe. Credit, Atongomo, Boyani, 
Abiona Mwangi. Diploma in Social Communication, Tangaza University College, Credit. Muridi Gathege Amoreo Musikoyo Maina Mwangi Maingi Chanibaya Chanibaga Oyugi Karimi Iminza Diploma in Youth Ministry Distinction Birithia Credit Oduor Diploma in Early Childhood Development and Education, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Waini, Birhane, Haile Mikael, Abraham. Credit, Josephine, Maria, Sahai, Agatha, Wawira, Emily, Mbogo, Tesfagergis, Kalete. Diploma in Education, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Ngaluku, Muruja, Mpange, Rael, Yamari, Wambua. Credit, Namungabe, Kalume, Lina, Chola, Paul, to Yisinge, Jacqueline, Virma, Arasa, Kitili, Rachel, Priska, Niambazira, Philip, Ochualo, Maria Immaculate, Ocheng, Nyanges Niesiga, Masinde, Kimani, Musioki, Murithi, Nyongesa, Kilu, Dolphin, Christine, Livombon. Diploma in Information Technology. Credit, Rama, Achieng, Ekapei, Kendi, Kasaya, Odwar, Kubra. Pass. Abdi, Mutie, Bashir, Wanjangi, Kostani, Wanjiko, Muredi, Ndongo, Karani, Karogo, Ayeko, Waidera, Jelagat. Diploma in Archives and Record Management, Credit, Nyambura. Diploma in Library and Information Science, Distinction, Koome, Chepkemoi, Said, Kwaka, Karado. Credit, Mora, Pass, Motua. Diploma in Community Health and Development, Distinction, Melanie. Credit, Kanana, Terongo, Naipanoi. Pass, Awiti, Wangari, Ntapash, Ondieki. Diploma in Early Childhood Development and Education Queer. Distinction, Vera Terry. Diploma in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Nyanu Isaboki. Credit, Odhiambo Kimanzi Shilwaso. Mukabi Bahati Malimali Owo. Pass, Maitsi Otieno. Diploma in Leadership and Management, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Kinyui. Credit, Ketuta, Tatu, Mukami, Marie Claire, Makoha. Diploma in Leadership and Resource Management, Tangaza University College. Distinction, Mwangi, Wangui, Kinyui. Credit, Maturin, 
Said Kadenge Kiteka. Diploma in Justice and Peace, Credit, Gloria Atieno. Advanced Diploma in Business Management, Credit, Sugut, Rolein, Jacqueline, Frank, Amon, Mosiba. Pass. Peter, Ian. Ordinary Diploma in Business Management, Distinction. Esmail G, Luita, Alan, Mark, Mosioki. Credit, Daniela, Sara, Dirangu, Waweru, Daddy, Anthony, Dukwimana, Ezra, Rachel, Omonye, Leon, Give, Gift Glory, Evans, Moses, Philip, Emmanuel, Brian, Christine, Ali, Pass, Edgar, Mpundu, Elizabeth, Maureen, Nasla, Wilson, Barbara, Nicholas, Nishaba, Brett, Delik, Nyange, Emulia, Gadungu, Ayo, Shalon, Kahenda, Jonathan, Miricent, Kelsey, Jelom, Vanessa, Kelvin, Aristia, Sheila, Limo. Diploma in Theology, Theological Pastor Institute in Awia. Fausta Matrona Regista Veronica. Credit Esther Gaspar Oliva. Pass Shirima. I ask His Eminence to award these graduates certificate and diploma in their respective areas of specialization. <clears throat> On the uh, recommendation of the uh, Senate and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Council, I award you certificate or diploma in your area of specialization. Bachelors, ecclesiastical degrees. I have the honor and the pleasure to invite the Dean of Faculty of Theology to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements of the degree of Baccalaureate in, in Sacred Theology. Baccalaureate in Sacred Theology, Suma Kumdaude, Inziku Bado, Manya Kumdaude, Shukri, Manier, Emmanuel, Stefan, Jeremius, Kariuki, Okengo, Kigara. I ask His Eminence to confer upon these graduates the degree of background in sacred theology. On uh, <clears throat> the uh, recommendation of the academic board and by virtue of the uh, authority vested in me by the uh, Holy See, in the name of the Supreme Pontiff of Francis, I confer upon you the baccalaureate in uh, sacred theology.
I have the honor and pleasure to invite Dean Faculty of Theology, Vice Chancellor Designate Tangasa University College, Principal Ekima University College, Principal Ikabami, Dean Faculty of Science, Dean School of Nursing, Director Center for Social Justice and Ethics, Dean Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Vice Chancellor Designate Tangasa University College, Principal Don Posco College Moshi, Principal Spirit and Missionary Seminary Arusha, Principal Consolata Institute of Philosophy, Principal Catholic University of Southern Sudan, Dean Faculty of Education, Principal Marist International University College, Dean Facul School of Business, sorry, Dean Faculty of Law, to call by name the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for confirmation of bachelor's degree in their respective areas of specialization. Bachelor of Theology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Rogisha Ngiti Raswai Malta Tigisti Jane Josephine. Bachelor of Theology, Tangaza University College. Second class honors, upper division. Mugenei Katongo Amaechi Chimuka Agbasoa. Second class honors, lower division. Randria Manana Nyangau Omari Kigundu Adrian Awoke Andama Madele Domingos Arvind. Bachelor of Theology, Hakima University College. First Class Honours, Godfrey Baraka Rusasa, Gustav Carlson Kofi Kepebo, Mark Constantine Kimario. Second Class Honours, Upper Division, Mugari Dakamire, Rakutuzafi Amondi Gelato, Xavier Jariakonga Maduka Diomasi, Obiora Kabuiku, Basunota, Genyam Benya, uh, Eragena, Yudone, Mahasedra, and Koyo, and Kambisi, Winganisa, Matias, Mkoba, Agyapong, Kofi, Randria Mamonji, Kabu Kapua, Bernard Naresh Dua, and the Kile Fukisi Kilatia Tembo, second class honors lower division Munganga. Bachelor of Theology in Catechetics and Pastoral Ministry, first class honors Juliana. Second class honors, upper division, Allen, Jacqueline, Jessica, Alebot. <coughs> Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Arcedas, Barbara, Brenda, Sharon, Christabel, Christine, Evelyn, Charity, Durham, Joshua, Justina, Karanja, Irene, Prezi, Keko, Kiseli, Lucy, Clemens, Margaret, Martha, Martin, Mary, Mori, Francisca, Mikael, Naomi, Nora, Nyambura, Sally, Oteno, Rosalind, Ruth, Santa, Sheila, Sophia, Sister Easter, Sister Gertrude Wambura. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. First class honors, Waweru Isaac Kenodia. Second class honors, Upper Division, 
Kosgei, Were, Wakutu, Waidera, Kirwa, Masharia, Awor, Motuko, Wafula, Murugi, Maranga, Shiriebo, Kusimba, Halake, Wario, Bonareri, Chepto, Ekisa, Muiruri, Atieno, Obilo, Second class honors, Lower Division, Anyango, Muhonja, Wamboi, Kinzani, Wamboa, Mwendwa, Wangari, Mwangi, Mutembei, Magua, Kakue, Ndegwa, Njeri, Kemani, Prosper, Wanjeri, Mutonga, Oreno, Abdi, Kitika, Ngaru, Kimaro, Wanja, Lihaya, Ochieng, Tuti, Kinda, Chamgetich, Mutugi, Omondi, Kinkosi, Wanja, Dairu, Ngomo, Iragi, Monene. Pass, Biot, Kashema, Marier. Bachelor of Science in Natural Science, First Class Honors, Pauline Mula Muinde, Mutua Ann Mumbe. Second Class Honors Upper Division, Mbudia, Muridi, Chaptumo, Osako, Oburu, Kamau, Omwenga, Dida, Wangeshi, Matui, Okido, Wainaina, Maina, Kinyingo, Cherotich, Kuyoni, Mpaayo, Mokami, Kanyiri, Wangari, Bet. Second class honors, Lower Division, Ondieki, Kipino, Kamau, Manjiro, Nambandu, Nyagudie, Musioka, Hisa, Wangeshi, Mutai, Ouma, Modoni, Akach, Chepkoril. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. First class honors, Kiriyama Veronica Nyamusi. Second class honors, Upper Division, Mbaka, Kungu, Moseti, Okuomi. Second class honors, Lower Division, Mwangi, Masinya, Ngundo, Kenya. Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Second class honors, Upper Division, Kalume, Nanga, Kaki, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Bakaji. Bachelor of Science in Library and Information Science, First Class Honors, Wamalabe Nasamburuth, Lydia Narumbe Chegem, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Aol, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Jebet. Bachelor of Science in Health Professions Education, First Class Honors, Ondieki Jean Florence, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Mweni Kipketer. Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Development, First Class Honors, Asishakie Nina Tekle, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Gadwe, Audi, Tarbo, Ruduaro, Mwangi, Gumaro, Habeko, Ochieng, Nyangeterai, Kwanga. Second class honors, Lower Division, Kalume. Bachelor of Education, Maris International University College. First class honors, Antonio, Obina, Duncan, Joan Moranga, Chidiebere, Samson, Silas. Second class honors have a division, Anastasia, Chagunda, Chebet, Cherotich, Chibengwa, Daniel, Dominic, Elia, Eliud, Ezekiel, Gachoki, George, Geronimo, 
Golden, Grace, Jean-Paul, Jennifer, Jennifer Sabiri, John, Juliet, Julius, Kasembi, Kennedy, Gituma, Kiplangat, Kunati, Kwaku, Kudakwashi, Lemiso, Limai, Lumunyeni, Magoma, Maizia, Manuel, Marriott, Matthias, Memeti, Mofat, Moses, Mwenda, Ndao, Afoni, Gilbert, Nekesa, Ngonjo, Ngetia, Anne, Njoakom, Odiambo, Oduor, Okoliko, Okoro, Onesmos, Onyango, Pauline, Ramboatiana, Samuel, Sheila, Tom, Veronica, Victor, Ignatius, Abib. Second class honors, lower division, Erai, Giradi, Jelongat, Kofi, Mantobai, Mudoni, Nyakundi, Obuda, Stephen, Chio. Bachelor of Business Management, Paris International University College. Abiero, Gitonga, Maliongo, Mukoya, Mwaniya, Pangat, Said, Winnie. Second class honors, lower division. Bampire, Clements, Arun, Lucy, Mumasi, Muticia, Ndizera, Wandurua. First class honors, based Bachelors of Arts in Strategic Development Studies. Ami Mudoni Ann Asumta Immaculate Kirimi Margaret Musioka Mutuku Sempoi. Second class honors, upper division. Amina, Amy, Annette, Emanuela, Howie, Jennifer, Joseph, Kura, Okombo, Purity, Sharon, Vanessa. Second class honor, lower division. Joseph, Kutai, Mbugi, Saitabao. The Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences Square, the first class honors, Gloria Selena Machete. The second class honors, Upper Division, Nyambura Nabila Nyambura Esther, Werimu Abdi Oyugi, Achieng Mbom, Cherotich Sharon Wiper, George Kungu. Itinchi, Murira, Peter, Matthews, Olubuji, Labenda, Nchoki, Mecha, Wakumi, Ayila, Obuar, Mchai, Parasabio, Duncan, Gakuna, Choice, Hersi, Sharin, Mutusi, Maina, Kamindo, Ngoto, Agok, Dolphin, second class honors, lower division, Samuela, Joseph, Murithi, Ncheri, Wangeshi, Mutunse, Oyucho, Mchoka, Otipa, Kondo, Purity, Mukungu, Okelo, Kamalisa, Pass, Valent, Bachelor of Arts in International Relations Square, Second class honors upper division. Nakoya 
Masawa, a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy Kweya, First Class Honors, Bernard Chewa Kachenga, Alphonse Lutuyuga Charles, Victor Chipwe, Danielson Chameno Lopez, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Mogosi Barongo Akiso Sifaye Jackson Cephas Kayobe Emmanuel The Bachelor of Arts in Social Work First Class Honors Lena Ahuma Chesa Orina Choi Chemina Mora A Second Class Honors Upper Division Mujeko Bridget Kimori Nyagita Mushiri Leabel Muhone. Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Planning and Management Kwea, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Sharon Abdi Mwangani Elicha Wangera Wambui Wam Wambua Ochuok Ngure, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Makachia Ochola. A Bachelor of Arts in Geography Kwea, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Sifuma Mutemi Omweri, a Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Nyamoita. A Bachelor of Arts in Development Studies Kwea, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Werimu Kagai Ndungu Wancheru Angera Wini Edni Kihiru, Nguni, Macharia, Musau, Emmanuel K, Lenya, Ndonsi, Kitinchi, Matanda, Aswai, Machage, Odiambo, Efi, Chin Philip, Moi, Kevin, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Nyahata, Kuol, Collins, Muya. Bachelor of Arts in Kiswahili and Communication Kwea, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Murimi, Monareri, Wafula, David, Chirume, Mugendi. Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Adiamo. Bachelor of Arts in Economic Square, First Class Honors, Shamim Wanchiru Karugu. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Charles, Patrick, Nicholas, Kipruto, Kimani, Nyambura, Mburu, Mwanyika, Anindo, Asuma, Kinya, Mutoga, Mafa, Mwangi. The Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Mwandeche, Dena, Daniel, Oyo. Mutui, Nyandege, Onserio, Faith, Agan, Garoma, Kwamboka, Mongina, Kature, Nyambura, Nyangara, Faith, Wancheru, Muchena, Ndungu, Franklin, Karani. Bachelor of Arts in History and International Relations Square, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Omukoli, Ndungwa, Mateka, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Omondi. Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Kwea, First Class Honors, Nchuguna, Mary, Wamaitha, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kagina, Kwekwe, Ochi, Wamaitha, Kemunto, Tungu, Wanchiru, Mbugwa, Kamau, Njoki, Titus. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Tokei. Bachelor of Arts in Social Communication, Tangaza University College. First Class Honors, Kemboi Mika Kibet, Waihenya Joseph Kagoto. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Owoth, Akelo, Owino, Mwangi, Njenga, 
ba muy gi mubira second class honors lower division awori kocholo ni bogora kinyanjui akonkwa pass la ferno manana bachelor of arts in sustainable human development tangaza university college first class honors Elena Real Isaac Nyariel. Second class honors, upper division, Kimanthi, Wakuru, Mungare, Ndura, Kosen, Liza, Karime, Wambua, Edward, Francine, Guya, Shabani, Katua. Second class honors, lower division, Wakoli, Nirashumbusha, Mwendo, Pass, Wani. Bachelor of Arts in Leadership and Management, Tangaza University College, first class honors, Terezia Njoki Njoroge, David Erman Otieno Wanyama, Mukuhe Margaret Maranga. Second class honors, upper division. Omoro, Koech, Wanjiru, Pogiso, Juhi, Chelimo, Chepkoril, Kinywa, Langat, Kaburu, Meme, Ndare, Kimotho, Odhiambo, Nisubire, Muriko, Lagat. Second class honors, lower division. Nyamari, Ochieng, Mutili, Mose, Nganga. Bachelor of Arts in Counseling Psychology, Tangaza University College, First Class Honors. Samuel Wainaina Nganga, Atieno Immaculate Otieno, Kavata Harriet Mukwanyaga, Peter Mburu Wairagu, Rebecca Mweni Mwololo. Second class honors, upper division, Okumu, Mose, Mwasi, Njuguna, Gigi, Wandaka, Wairimu, Akeo, Kimuhu, Kiyoko, Mwangi, Kilonzo, Maina, Mwendo, Kanini, Mainka, Nyakundi, Njuguna. Second class honors, lower division, Kibe, Odunga, Mogusu, Mwiyeria, Kokach, Gidinji, Juma, Muturi. Bachelor of Arts and Philosophy, Spirit and Missionary Seminary. First class honors, Herman Asante Rabi, Agassin Ruamuvia, Bonfas James Odera, Diogratias Kagali, Alex Benoit Mlaponi. Second class honors, Upper Division, Aman Colonelius, Mocho, Andrea, Thomas, Benedicto, Kalinda, Jonathan, Muhando. Edson, Elipido, Germinus, Ilacunda, Petro, Paulino, Kwai, Ngalia, Mbaf Moja, Kamau, Mwanzia, Maloba, Malia, Manyanda, Damian, Makori, Mbonde, Pangala, Mwasia, Rafael, Muindi, Msembi, Mugomba, Ndimuligo, Niwamanya, Ogembo, Ocheng, Opio, Weyamam, Shurima, Theodore, Wanji, Fernando, Yohani. Bachelor of Arts Philosophy, Consolata Institute of Philosophy, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Nyongesa, Dicho, Okumu, Iga, 
Omuko, Musazizi, Loanga, Maseleka, Kiengo Denge, Ololepo, Deleva Mwiti, Duku, Waweru, Ewot Felix, Tumwesinje. Second class owner, Loan Division, Gadoni, Duku, Oreki, Kuol Manyangi, Ondaya. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Education, Don Bosco College, Moshi. First class honors, Francois Manrumba. Second class honors, Upper Division, Derache, Msamba, Ares, Chinipaninji, Cyrus, Tereje, Diodne, Sanga, Maina, Jackson, Kamdinda, Mugisa, Bosco, Shayo, Celeste, Chilakata, Odongo, Kamuiti, Nduwimana. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Christ the King Major Seminary. First class honors. Kirero Fanson, Kenodia Maiko. Second class honors, Upper Division. Enia, Ileri, John, Kahuai, Kanyaru, <coughs> Kineri, Kipleting, Kirago, Kizaka, Kiton, Les Daimot, Ligera, Mazenge, Maulis, Mohea, Moleidi, Molioki, Musebi, Mozoka, Mutinda, Mozoka Nzuki, Mozongo, Mwangi, Degwa, Dilango, Nganamati, Jero, Nyaga, Monyao, Onyango, Utieno, Legina, Ditu, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Kiprono, Som Sioka. Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Catholic University of South Sudan. First Class Honors, Stephen Reka, Abraham Tokmach, Jurang Ajit, Chul John, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Helen Samuel, Namachot, Emmanuel Ferida, Emmanuel Lako, Quot, Albino, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Viola, Ajik, Lado, Abraham, Marco, Aloyo, Yar, Madalena, Lipo, Khalid, Agustino, Kwang, Christopher, Clara, Gabriel, Moses, John, Mangar, Again, William, Rami, Bol, Imelda, Luis, Angwa, Paz, Jacqueline, Bol, Gadet, Susan, Margot, William, Kaman, Mbiko. Bachelor of Justice and Peace, Kuea. First class honors, Hanna Muiruri Waruguru, Josephine Imoloaemen, Pamela Kajuju. Second class honors, Upper Division, Joan, Susan, Sharon, Priska. Bachelor of Education Queer, First Class Honors, Catherine P. Kaole, Mutiso Anastasia, Kimani John Karanja, 
Irene Asay, Sister John Paul Chidi, Margaret Nduku, Gatei Olivia, Muchiri Ann Wanjiro, Ogwo Ebu Irene, Macharia Monica Kagendo, Mba Rosemary Nkechi, Kilu Jacqueline Dulu, Muinde David Madeka, Barongo Veronica, Mwangi Lea Wamboi, Orori Domitila Kemto, Chegome Brian Adea, Geoffrey Kiplagat Rotich, Gaduku Anthony Mwaniki. Second class honors, upper division. Atieno Sostin, Emmanuel, Boit, Knight, Kiiti, Kimori, Akini, Okot, Ndege, Lynn, Josephine, Lumatete, Onditi, Susan, Vaxolin, Daniel, Olivia, Andega, Chebotik, Isaac, Cherok, Lumwagi, Owino, Chepkoril, Nguli, Olwoch, Sophie, Enoch, Kevin, Jemutai, Charana, Tumo, Maureen, Kemboi, Ruth, Pauline, Masi, Musiani, Koech, Christabel, Chelimo, Ruto, Gachugia, Mahanu, Chepkuriwi, Loran, Otsieno, Akinyi, Ekitapa, Onyango, Diego, Akola, Omwenga, Muthima, Rose, Steven, Obinda, Dibora, Mwita, Benson, Kibe, Stella, Christine, Selma, Irene, Musango, Mugeni, Yatich, Aaron, Christine, Dennis, Kiprotich, Kamau, Ngugi, Catherine, Wayongo, Odoyo, Kagendo, Joachim, Jane, Dorothy, Irene, Oruta, Demosop, Elvis, Esther, Justo, Kimathi, Omondi, Duku, Brian. Amos, Henry, Mutati, Ooko, Watima, Chepto, Christine, Mweni, Maina, Naftali. Musungu, Ann, Felistas, Benson, Chamwada, Naluenje, Ochuado, Njiru, Matiro, Njiri, Amos, Maranga, Kiende, Dorcas, Mudoni, Kibunja. Leah, Collins, Jacqueline, John, Festus, Wilson, Juma, Wilbroda, Ombuna, Biwot, Ochieng, Lemiso, Kundu, Juma, Achieng, Prudence, Leo, Charles, Kagai, Kahindi, Ireri, Faith, Simon, Ombaso, Alfred, Gichama, Nyabuto, Ngari, Alex, Kirui, Nora, Christine, Mwese, Immaculate, Teresia, Mwaura, Winnie, Kilonzo, Kiarie, Veronica, Maio, Alice, James, Mary, Kimani, Elizabeth, Kabuchwa, Dennis. Wambua, Mwita, Quinta, Kanango, Jepkoech, Mkunja, Musioka, Nora, Zachary, Emmanuel, Nyarumba, Kimathi, Clarkson, Amoka, Odiambo, Michira. Second class honors, lower division. Tarus, Diana, Irobiro, George, Kirwa, Justin, Ignatius, Mercy, Sharon, Odiambo, Rebecca, Noah, Kipsat, Wachira, Yegon, Sharon, Amos, Sifuna, Gonza, Rotich, Job, Winnie, 
Maika, Mbura, Christine, Valentine, Mutia, Viola, Kageni, Karen, Linda, Grace, Janet, Philomena, Lomongin, Beatrice, Popilo, Sharon, Okumu, Fancy, Purity, Muia, Ondiek, Ngere, Kinya, Wambua, Nyakundi, Selina, Gilbert, Nicholas, Cherotich, Winnie, Mulongo, Kipkirui, Okumu, Grace, Mutio, Musembi, Marube, Duncan, Masi, Kibani, Omoyo, Kageni, Karibi, Mugambi. Mugo, Glory, Leleruk, Kawira, Nancy, Waswa, Karinka, Odera, Omugata, Cecilia, Immaculate, Ondoro, Mwangi, Evans, Kiprotij, Mauti, Kipngeno, Vera, Vera, Joy, Mustafa, Pass, Dixon, Cynthia, Perpetua, Institute of Religious Studies Outreach Center, Asmara, Bachelor of Education, First Class Honors, Michele Okbei Zerom, Merhawi Berhe Araya, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Philmon, Bachelor of Education, Tangaza University College, First Class Honors, Patricia Kamante Kangutu, Mwangi Rosetta Waizira, Dennis Oru Onchoke, Teresa Chepcho, Chepcho, Chepchoge, Morris Kuber, Kisinji Joy Mwende, Mirisi Taingu Frida, Kaundio Kofi John Paul, Ndeche Rael Amakinji, Nyan, Nyanchawya Barnabas. Second class honors, upper division. Zadios, Minjil, Didactus, Anthony, Chepkemoy, Arunga, Maria, Abubakar, Arroz, Claudia, Emily, Faze, Ouma, Luvinga, Rose, Geoffrey, Festus, Okech, Geoffrey, Oyugi, Emma, Juma, Wilfred, Takanja, Tigist, Sanait, Elysia, Sylvia, Waycliffe, Stacy, Idelquin, Igesa, Winfred, Luendo, Michu, Michubu, Michubu, Sabahire, Makori, Kuoma, Jacob, Wambui, Award, Margaret, Idel Queen, Virginia, Beatrice, Miryuki, Tom Angeline, Maura, Franklin, Josephine, Wambua, Nyongesa, Oseko, Mary, Countess, Mulepio, Patrick, Lazarus, Mauti, Judith, Kemunto, Mary, Lawrence, Yalo, Karen, Gertrude, John, Bernardet, Christina, Lucy, Beatrice, Obero, Rosemary, Chilion, Lucy, Faith, Veronica, Geoffrey, Mafu, Victor, Njuru, Elvin, Yosef, Yosef, 
Dixon, Njeri, Joel, Mbere, Sibila, Rogers, Odiambo, Jenelika, Brian, Louis, Ephraim. Second class honors, lower division. Lea, Kariuki, Andhoga, Kilonzi, Nyamwamba, Mangana. Bachelor of Education, Catholic University of South Sudan, First Class Honors. Kunda Abraham Ahmed, Nyak Lam Wol Lip, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Gadwich Kenson, Sharabi, Isaac Treza. Bachelor of Commerce, Kuea, Accounting Option, First Class Honors, Nyangao Peter, Second Class Honors, Cheluyot, Cheluto, Kemathi, Dinda, Athiambo, Kanda, Collins, Noni, Mabonga, Kadago, Muthoni, Mogotu, Tanoi, Mokoi, Mwasafu, Kisawaga, Savare, Mwakisoso, Koesh, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Kiprotich, Mungai, Liom, Liomu, Marwa, Buthia, Dunge, Kigela, Maimun, Wamboi, Pass, Remote, Fulgencio, Banking and Financial Services Option, Second Class Honors, Onyangi, Kamau, Goloma. Second class honors, lower division, Masit, Joseph, Kabea, Fortul, Pass, Pitya. Finance option, first class honors, Akinyi Obat, Andrew Mungai, Elisha Wajala, Rebecca Zarin, Trevor Bozile. Second class honors, upper division, Sure, Odundo, Ingashan, Mwangi, Watene, Musioka, Bole, Simio, Wambugu, Wajau, Wanja, Kafide, Fili, Jalamba, Opuya, Kifunja, Mutie, Mutua, Maina, Nyakambi, Josephine, Tendi, Murithi, Romano, Jagelo, Kaunda, Odongo, Ouko, Awimbo, Ayo, Kamoto, Mungai, Nyangate, Mtuamwali, Abdullahi, Jologe, Mora, Machokola, Sanja, Kiheka, Awiti, Kilenga, Wavinya, Oseko, Obale, Ochien, Ashley, Kanini, Mutueli, Makoha, Mabunde, Ndonge, Wangari, Njau, Givenji, Ajanga, Kawera, Wayua, Mudusi, Masinde, Wamushie, Wairimu, Getonga, Rono, Nyabonyi, Naibei, Wandutu, Ouma, Meshak, Mutai, Sigilai, Chepkonga, Duku, Mashalia, Kipruto, Barasa, Kiprotich, Koskei, Kirui, Brenda, Kipragat, Onyango. Second class honors, lower division, Obuya, Madele, Wanjiku, Kukabwasa, Makena, Hassan, Kathuri, Fabian, Kali, Kosgei, Mora, Timoi, Onyango, Wangari, Emanuela, Gaki, Wanjiru, Nzima, Ntinyali, Jemima, Oyo, Leonard, Kagwila, Okay. Kagwila, Otieno, Kerubo, Jelagat, Karioki, Ashien, Kemunto, Duati, 
Paklea, Ngango, Ngolo, Olu, Otunge, Okoth, Othiambu, Mbulu, Masharia, Mayo, Senga, Mzile, Omolo, Aganze, Mandala, Mtange, James, Kimeli, Omondi, Adrienne, Owai, Sylvia, CTNA, Kipchumba, Human Resource Management Option, Second Class Owners, Upper Division, Gitau, Nyamwaya, Chepmetich, Kagendo, Jologe, Chepkemoi, Albina, Odela, Chepkilui, Mukami, Kenneth, Gray, Tungarasa, Letila, Odiambo, Second Class Owners, Lower Division, Akongo, Ogunde, Ongalo, Mugoli, Faran, Faran, Hunja, Maria, Maveli, Kalolai, Munagat. Management Option Second Class Owners Upper Division. Menaida, Mori, Narim, Sebit, Second Cloud Honors, Lower Division, Awar, Yubadi, Ellen, Gak, Kong, Lazarus, Akol, Karen, Mundar, Tok, Topne, Diana, Nancy, Charity, Rose, Atem, Rafael, Mangang, Susie, Gabriel, Abraham, Pitia, Bojo, Barak, Kuron, Juan, Rual, Paz, Salwa, Bido, Joyce, Rose, Bol, Marlene, Lula, Alfred, Gadloak, Lul, Yunis, Makwech, Paulina, Helen. Bachelor of Human Resource Management, Catholic University of South Sudan, First Class Honors. Silas Majok, Acherin Makwe. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Malet, Viola, Matech, Oyet, Lubaba. Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Ajina, Jat, Moses, Victoria, Anna, Ran, Binia, Charles, Ajua, Silvano, Bakich, Keji, Joseph, Akon, Paz, James, Stella, 
Najima Bachelor of Procurement and Logistics, Catholic University of South Sudan, First Class Honors, Monica Ayom Malau, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Esther Roman, Daniel Viola Roda Golo, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Dina Daniel Stella Flora Nadwak John Ton Kual Aju Moro Ko Majok Peter Juahir King Rafael Garan Loro Jada Paz Matok James Daniel Addendum list, Bachelor of Education, First Class Honors, on Monday, Stephen Leonida, Kiri Kennedy, Second Class Honors, Abba Division, Cecilia Mukoya, Zan Evans, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Leonard Mugudo Cherotich, Bachelor of Arts in Development Studies, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Ian. Bachelor of Kiswahili and Communication, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, okay. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Osiri. Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Sabibu. Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Nancy. Ordinary Diploma in Business Management, Mutua. Faculty of Law, First Class Honors, Ndeto Sharon Mutio, Barack Obama Awoche, Leila Rose Auma, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Ratwiri Maureen Loretta Nathaniel, Emmanuel Marete, Elsa Owiro, Philomena Getau, Caroline Boya Winfred Ann, Faris Ngala Anita Umulisa Chepcheba, Selamaris, Tony, Louis, Juliet, Kantier, Kim Ketich, Sylvian, Dicho, Nicole, Victoria, Margaret, Victor, Marusoi, Clewin, Brenda, Flora, Davin, Andrew, Nyabuto, Dune, Grace, Maingi, Shakrov, Georgina. Second class, lower division, Faiza, Sylvia, Gitonga, Lucia, Stephen, Cynthia, Valet, Anne, Nebi, Joanna, Kiombe, Brenda, David, Grace, Masibayi, Rachel, Annette, Tabitha, Wainaina, Kironcho, Valerie, Sharon, Persis, Tekla, Thomas, Okeo, Rosaline, Imani, Jordan, Caroline, Quizera, Clare, Nandi, Bilton, uh, Kiprop, Shem, Evelyn, Juguna, Ruth, Aboao, Joyce, Caponi, Aisha, Lynn, Nyaloti, Kabui, Justin, Medlin, Kinoti, Purity, Irungo, John, Henry, Vince, Onyonyi, Susan, Jemtai, Thuo, Gatere, Anne, Gloria, Eva, Raymond, Chetekera, Cynthia, Habo, Nelson, Francis, Olivia, Priska, Lizzie, Katete, Juliet, Raymond, Anyona, Nimrod, Ronald, Karyuki, Maina, Soji, Lynette, Joel, Anyango, Kipkoech, Esther, Arnold, Mwiti, James, Aguea, Sandra, James, Paul, Kibet, Muthui, Wanjala, Maina, Alexander, Martin. Pass. Addison, Brenda, Raymond, Millicent, Kenneth, Ivy, Cynthia, Deborah, Kevin, Kenya, Diana, Valerie, Nancy, Angela, Tracy, Wall. The 2020 October addendums are second class honors, lower division, Moai, Jacob, Rita, Shalene, Edwina, David, and Grace. Okay. Yes. 
I ask His Eminence to confer upon these graduates a bachelor's degree in their respective areas of specialization. On uh, the uh, recommendation of the Senate and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the uh, University Council, I confer upon you the uh, bachelor's degree in your area of uh, specialization. Okay, I call upon the principal of Kima University College to call by name the candidates that they are not called earlier for masters. For the degree Master of Arts in Peace Studies and International Relations, with distinction, Pierre Joseph Mugisho Mugangu, Rebecca Kathambi Mugo. With a pass, Alex Dimba Okidi, uh, Aminata Christiana Korji, Cyprian Amoding, Sheila Gatoni Ngasia, Simon Reed Nyot. I ask His Eminence to award these graduates with the master's degree in their respective uh, specializations. On the recommendation of the Senate and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Council, I confer upon you the master's degree in your area of specialization. A big round of applause, a big round of applause for our graduates. We congratulate our graduates of this year. Now they are no longer graduates. They are graduates of 2021. There is one still. Good afternoon. My name is James Theory. I'm passing the vote of thanks, and in the interest of time, I'll keep it very brief. The vote of thanks, first of all, goes to Almighty God for giving us the life and the ability to do what we've done today. We thank the Chancellor, Right Reverend Charles Kasonde. We also thank the Pro Chancellor, His Eminence John Cardinal Jue, for gracing this occasion. We thank our Chief Guest for our good speech, the Auditor General, uh, Nancy Yodongo. We also acknowledge and thank the chairman, of, chairman and members of the University Council, led by Bishop Akumba from Akuru. We thank the Vice Chancellor, the University Management, faculty and staff, as well as the University Senate. We appreciate and thank all the constituent colleges and the affiliate colleges of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. We thank and appreciate the organizing committee for this event the support staff and the ushers. We thank the alumni for their speech, as well as the student leadership who was represented here today. We thank especially the parents, the guardians, and the sponsors for a job well done. We also thank, most especially, the graduating class of 2021 for their hard work and determination. Congratulations. To all those who have not been thanked, please appreciate and receive our thanks for the contribution we have made to making this event truly a success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the special advisor to the vice chancellor in charge of administration, finance, strategy, strategy and planning, Mr. James Theory. Thanks you. Thanks so much. I would wish to take this opportunity to invite the rector and the vice chancellor to give a token of appreciation to the guest of honor today. Let us give up and a round of applause, a round of applause, a bigger one.
we thank our chief guest. And there it is. Allow me to make the following brief announcement before the dissolution of the congregation. From here, we shall have the recession from the podium led by the Mays Bearer, the, the University Registrar, the opposite manner from us, uh, how they came in. Then we shall go for a photo session outside there, the PhD graduates plus all that those who are on the podium. Then after the photo session we shall invest and the following are the places we are going to take our re refreshments. At the cafeteria opposite to this auditorium, we shall have the pro-chancellor, the chief guest, the bishops, members of the council, university council, the, me the members of the top management of the university, and the, only the principals of the constituent colleges. Th those will go to the upper section of the cafeteria. The ground section, we shall have the deans, directors, representatives from the constituent colleges, PhD graduates and Queerso leaders. Then we shall have the following going to the yellow pages, the students' cafeteria, the university choir, mass servers, liturgical dancers, ushers, live streaming team, the Capuchin TV, the staff members present. I now take this humble opportunity to invite the Catholic University Academic Registrar to lead the dissolution of the assembly. Please let us all be upstanding. I ask His Eminence to dissolve the 40th Congregation of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. <coughs> By virtue of the power vested in me by the University Council, I now dissolve the 40th Congregation of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Where were? Bless us. Thank you. Thank I you. also now take this opportunity because I am flying out. I'm flying out, and so uh, I cannot wait any longer. So if you see me in, uh, and so on, while you are, maybe you wanted me to remain and take a cup of tea and so on, but please understand. The, the flight is going to be on very soon, so if you see me going, remember that I was happy to have come and to do what we were able to do. And with that then, I say thank you very much again for welcome, and now I give you your right, which is the blessing, which I have to give to you and so on. The Lord be with you. Almighty God now bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Bye-bye. I kindly request the University Choir to lead us in the choir anthem.
Eastern Africa, it has been the 40th graduation held here and uh, lively and uh, long hours of uh, recognition of those who have been able to complete their courses all throughout the Eastern Africa region where the AMESEA, the association member Episcopal conferences uh, are bound by this uh, great facility, great institution. The main celebrant and the one who was uh, uh, chancellor was able to confer the awards all those who are who had been deemed having uh, completed the courses and the requirements of their studies long hours of uh, enjoyment long hours of congratulations we thank you from wherever you're watching us from good evening good morning good afternoon depending on where you are it has been capuchin tv's pleasure to let you follow us all through from morning here Nairobi time and on behalf of those who made this possible those who stood for long hours and sat for long hours here at the campus uh, main campus the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and back in the studio those who are responsible for this transmission may God bless you may God keep you safe Capuchin TV your Catholic identity we shall see you sometime next year for the 41st graduation on behalf of all may God God bless you and protect you. Peter Wawero is my name, a Franciscan Capuchin friar. Capuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity <laughs> Tumsifu Yesu Kristu milele na milele amina baada ya ziara yetu ya uinjilishaji kande ya magharibi mwa hinji katika jimbo katoliki la Kakamega na jimbo katoliki la Bungoma Capuchin TV tunaelekea bonde la ufa tunatembea tena kwenye jimbo katoliki la Kericho mara hii Wenyeji wetu ni waumini ya parokia mtakatifu Mikaheli, malaika mkuu eneo la Bomet mjini. Kumwaliko wa baba paroko Padre Valives Mahola, tutaingilisha na kusali pamoja kama ifuatavyo. 
Jumamosi tarehe thelathini misa ya saa kumi na mbili asubuhi baadaye Jumamosi saa hine asubuhi misa takatifu na sakramenti ya ubatizo kwa wanafunzi wa shule ya upili ya St Mary's Jumamosi saa kumi jioni ibada ya kuabudu ekaristia takatifu na baadaye misa takatifu saa kumi na moja jioni pamoja na wanafunzi wa shule ya Ekla Academy utaratibu wa misa za Jumapili ya moja ni kama ifuatavyo misa ya kwanza saa kumi na moja na nusu alfajiri misa ya pili saa moja na nusu asubuhi misa ya tatu saa tatu asubuhi misa ya nne saa tano asubuhi kapuchin tv kukarimu na mchango wako injili inasonga mbele habari njema inatangazwa kutoka pa za mitambo yetu endelea kutazama kapuchin tv kitambulisho katoliki The Catholic Church speaks. The bishops, Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops made a very strong appeal to our country's leadership so that we may start forging peace from the top. That invitation still stands. That invitation is still being pursued. The aim and the goal is to pray that God may give us wisdom. Wisdom to discern. Wisdom to be brave to make the right choices and wisdom also to hear his voice. And we all understand very well the times in which we are living, the preparations we are making for the general elections next year. Our appeal, as it has always been, is for peace, peace in our country. And the Catholic Church in Kenya, the Conference of Catholic Bishops, is prepared to go an extra mile to unite the Kenyan leadership, to unite the Kenyan people for a prosperous nation. It is our duty to pray for our country. We shall continue praying for our country. Because we have been given a very beautiful country with all the resources. Then pray for inspiration for our leaders, not to think about themselves, but to think about our beautiful country of Kenya, about the welfare of each one, that we may grow together and realize our dream. Our dream is a dream of prosperity, dream of working together as brothers and sisters in this wonderful country of ours. We have spoken about the ills that come upon us, one of them precisely being intolerance. And so here today we are saying, we are brothers and sisters, we are born of God the Father, we are all called to live up the mission that we as human beings are called as children of the same family. Therefore, we must tolerate one another. But you also challenge those who are aspiring for various leadership opportunities to declare their position on some of the big problems bedeviling the country. Where do they stand with corruption? What are they going to do when they come to leadership about these problems of corruption, problems of tribalism, problems that are completely bedeviling the country, problems of our economy? We would like them to express themselves and pronounce themselves on these matters. It is important that our leadership be on the same script and give as well the example that it is possible to forgive, it's possible to work together. And we as church leaders want to be on the front line, leading people into working in unity as we have always done and not to let the devil come and divide us, which brings all the confusion among people. May we live as brothers and sisters that our country may continue growing in true peace, united as a people of one nation with only one God, to live in peace as the children of one God. We still appeal to our country's leadership, and not only, as we said, to the president and the deputy, but to all leadership 
across the political divides. But obviously we wait and hope that our appeal made will also slowly bear fruit. And we are praying for unity in our country. Pray for our leaders, to pray for those who are sick, to pray for those who have died, and to pray for all our plans that they may be inspired by the wisdom of God. May we live as brothers and sisters, may we live in unity to enjoy the goods that God has given us and to build one another and build this our country. The Catholic Church Speaks St. Joseph and Anthony Center, located in Karen, Nairobi, off Bogani East Road, is a pleasant haven for accommodation and graduation reception. This modern accommodation facility is approximately 500 meters from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and just a walking distance from Jekwat Karen, Tangaza University College, and the Kenya School of Law. Reap the most benefit from our self contained rooms with hot shower. Reliable internet connectivity, DSTV, and steady security services, including 24-hour CCTV surveillance. We also offer reliable clean water supply, power backup, and fresh farm produce from our garden. For more information, visit our website at www.stsjnacenter.com or contact us on 0731049496 or 0725254445 or send an email to info at stsjnacenter.com. At St. Joseph and Anthony Ladies Hostel, we guarantee a secured environment with an aura of serenity for a peaceful stay and a chapel for personal prayers and meditations. St. Joseph and Anthony Ladies Hostel is a true home away from home. Living Faith Kids Daily Devotions for Africa Mark chapter 8 verse 21 Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 to 45 We have a short story about Doreen and Barney. I'm going to follow Jesus so, so that I can spend with him time. How about you? Tune in every day at 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Only on Capuchin TV. This is to help kids grow in faith, wisdom, and develop habit of daily prayers and build their relationship with Jesus Christ and church. Train the young in the way they should go. Even when old, they will not swerve from it. Living Faith Kids. Daily Devotions for Africa. Bishop Nicholas Tam Pastoral and Animation Center located in Kakamega County offers you an alluring atmosphere for special occasions. The center is ideal for spiritual retreats and recollections, prayer sessions, workshops, conferences, general meetings and trainings. We also offer event venue for weddings, galas and other similar outdoor activities. 
Delight in the peaceful ambience of our naturally serene environment with a cool, fresh breeze and free Wi-Fi to keep you connected to the rest of the world. We offer a variety of local cuisines and buffets. Try out our amazing facilities and services today. Visit us along Kakamega Webuye Road, only 5 kilometers from Kakamega Town. For inquiries and bookings, contact us on 0719423302 or email us via bnspc2016 at gmail.com. You can also write to us. Bishop Nicholas Tam Pastoral and Animation Center, P.O. Box 1848, Code 50100, Kakamega. Bishop Nicholas Tam Pastoral and Animation Center is the ultimate real deal. St. Francis Community Hospital Kasarani is a level 5 teaching and referral hospital that was founded in the spirit of St. Francis of Assisi in order to give special attention to the poor and needy by attending to their spiritual, economic, human and intellectual needs. We embrace the mission of the Little Sisters which enforces us to reach out with the compassion to the marginalized in the spirit of St. Francis of Assisi and our foundress, Mother Kevin. This is clearly reflected in the manner in which St. Francis Community Hospital staff delivers their services to their patients. The hospital is running the charism of Little Sisters of St. Francis with the aim of reaching out to the needy and the marginalized, showing compassion of Christ. The hospital is run with the charism of the Little Sisters of St. Francis, which is to bring newness and fullness of Christ's life in the world today, which is the gift of compassion for the marginalized. The care that we give to the patients, you know, is very important, and we give that service with our humbleness, with our humility. I think. That is what St. Francis is calling us even today to do. The hospital has grown drastically since its inception and now has become a preferred health facility within the Kasarani community and beyond. The institution has rapidly grown from a simple dispensary to a level 5, a teaching and referral hospital, bringing uh, service, services closer to the people has necessitated the congregation of the Retro Sisters of St. Francis to expand the hospital and to equip it with the necessary equipment. The hospital staffs and specialists operate keenly, serving with honesty, integrity, professionalism, commitment, fairness, and work as a team. Our goal of service to humanity is guided by our strategic plan which is focused on strengthening health systems for the delivery of both basic and specialized health packages while dealing with the quality determinants of health which are aiming at improving our quality of the patient clinic services, expanding the scope and improving the quality of inpatient care services, improving the quality of clinical diagnostic services and strengthening our health system to respond to the quality service delivery needs. On 14 October this year, St. Francis Community opened an accident and emergency new wing which was blessed and graced by Right Reverend Joseph Mbatia, the Bishop of Catholic Diocese of Nyahururu. I'm also privileged and honored uh, to be part of the launching of 
the casualty or rather the emergency unit uh, of the hospital. This new facility will help to speed up the treatment for emergency cases. Utaingia hapo kwa sehemu ya kupatiwa huduma ya dharura which is the accident and emergency room. Kwa wengi waona wagonjwa wanaokuja na pato wanakuja na uchungu, uchungu ambao hauskii ile dawa ya meza ya tembe. Wakifika hapo wanapata usaidizi wanapatiwa dawa ya uchungu kwenye mishipa. Kuna wale wanakuja na shida ya kupumua pale kwa kono unapata ya kwamba kuna ile machine tunaita nebulizer yenye inafungua mapafu inaruhusu mgonjwa na yaweze kupumua kuna wale ambao wanafika na moyo wanapata uko hafifu wanapata ile tunaita heart attack pale kwa kona mali umebariki unapata ya kwamba kuna ile machine tunaita defibrillator hiyo ni ile kwa mtu unaona akiguza kifua inaruka kuku kuku that is also very important it is in this same accident and emergency that we have managed patients who have been shot, who are on the brink of death. We have managed patients who have been stabbed. We have specialist machines which actually draw the patient's own blood, recirculate it and be able to give it back to them without needing blood from other people. St. Francis is a level 5 hospital and it offers a cascade of services. Thus, we have medical outpatient clinic which entails hypertensive, diabetic, cardiology, and nephrology clinics. Surgical clinic, we have general surgery, orthopedics, neurosurgery, ENT, endoscopy procedures, and pediatric surgery. Pediatrics and child care clinics, obstetrics and gynecology clinics, ophthalmology, psychiatry, specialized laboratory services, emergency and accident, and critical care services. For more information, call us on 0713-969-608 or 0741-689-983 or email us at info at stfrancishospital.or.ke or admin at stfrancishospital.or.ke Write to us on St. Francis Community Hospital, hyphen Nairobi, P.O. Box 62676, Nairobi, Kenya. Motto of the hospital says, we treat God heals. <laughs>